Yo, 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 what it do, what it do? Hey, we know you just saw that fresh new intro. Wasn't that shit sick? Well, we couldn't agree more, guys. Right, we just collaborated with our boy Omar at Sun City Vibes to help create an intro that would take our podcast to the next level. Do you need help with your video editing and content creation to help elevate your business to the next level? Well, Sun City Vibes has you covered without a doubt. Yeah, that's right, guys. Whether it's a logo reveal, a music video, drone footage, or even t-shirt printing, guys, hit up Sun City Vibes for quality work and affordable price. Shit, Omar even made us a sick ass hat. Look at this. It's a fresh Fresh. ass hat. Fresh. Shit's fresh. Fresh. So yeah, guys, go help support those that support us and hit up our boy Omar and tell him Chris and Misa sent you from the podcast and help support a local El Paso business today. Let's go. Three, two, one. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Conversing with Chris and Misa. The podcast, as always, guys, co-host of the podcast, Mr. Misael is here with, with us today. So what's up to the podcast? Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, what it do? Sheesh. In the producer chair, our girl Amanda is back. Say what's up to the podcast. What's up, everyone? Happy um, Wednesday. Oh, hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Joe's favorite day of the week. And hey. of Joe, there he is. <laughs> hump day. Oh, look at that. What a dog, huh? Oof. Episode 167, guys, conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for subscribing, following us on Instagram, uh, subscribing to our YouTube. We really do appreciate all that. Uh, give yourselves a round of applause for the ones who've subscribed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In our audience here, we got our boy Chewy from Next Gen Sports. He, he does all of the custom merch, and he also buys and sells uh, sports cards, so make sure you guys hit him up if you need to. Guys, for episode 167, there's a tradition on this motherfucker. It's called the cracking of the celebratory beer, and it sounds like this. Whoa. Joe with the fucking explosive uh, twisted, twisted tea, tea there. Wow, look at that. All right, guys, so we got a squad pod for y'all today. We're going to talk some topics. Joe's got a fucking movie segment at the very end that we're going to do. And af- actually, after that, I have this or that questions for our boy Misa here. I got 10 of them, uh, but we got Joe's fucking um, movie segment, and we're going to recap the City Magazine event that me and Misa went to over this past weekend. But before we do any of that, hmm. Joe fucking uh, accused me of making my dog Bud an Instagram page. Oh yeah, I was like the audacity you know on this motherfucker. Okay, like at first I was like, okay, yeah, that was that was obviously his wife Lena. But then I come in today, dude. I show up today. Lena opens the door and he's laying on the couch with uh with Bud right over him, dude. They're oh, just yeah, taking out pretty much, dude. I was tired. I was like, dude, nah, dude. This is that was all his. I got some peanut Chris. butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, they gave him peanut butter and he threw it up, so he doesn't like peanut butter. No, you shouldn't be giving them. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know. Good for them. I don't know who yeah. decided. To give him so much up. peanut butter, but he threw it up. So, anyways, well, he's um, a pup. Yeah. So, my wife created our dog Bud. You and your wife. I didn't. I had nothing to do with the creation of this. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, you yeah. authorized it. No, I did it, dude. <laughs> he actually <laughs> also gave me an idea of like us doing like some photo shoot, like kind of like the Robin Big. You know how they oh, did yeah. that photo shoot with their dog? He wants to do that now. Yeah, that's my best that would be a good friend. idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no I, like I had nothing to do with. Yeah, this. you did. Let the record show. I had nothing to do with the creation of this Instagram page. Oh, Sam, one day I was just chilling and I get a fucking uh, a request, a request from a dog that looks he, just like my dog. He blocks her. He's like, I don't know who this yeah, is. It was, it was fucking weird, dude. But anyways, follow Bud Light. I forget what the fucking tag is. It's but Bud Light. Like it's Bud Light something and weird. some numbers. Oh, nine something. It's like nine one five four twenty or something. But yeah, it's just crazy. There <laughs> you guys are. Hey, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be us. That was that's going to be like our merch idea right there with Bud in the middle. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, that Robin Big Show was fucking, you know, something. Oh, it's cool. right there. It was on the top. Bud Light 92622 Allah. Yeah, Allah. there it is. We need to get his followers up. Yeah, he's got to get his followers up. Is that more followers than you? Is that his birthday, September 26th? According to Lena, yes. That's what the fucking. <laughs> According nurse, to Lena. Yeah, he has to keep yeah. saying, like, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lena. Yeah, yeah. It's the birth certificate, you know what I mean? But look at that grid right there. That fucking shit eating shit eating grin that he has. Look at that. Yeah. He's looking at Joe just like, yo. He's, He's like, oh shit in the studio <laughs> again. Don't play with me. <laughs> All right. So today, guys, was fucking a free coffee day at Circle K. Did anybody Jeez. participate? No. Yes, I did. Did you, Amanda? I sent Chris a message like at 5 30 in the morning, like, <laughs> yo, free coffee, the get there now. Free coffee, don't forget I made on your coffee way to at work. Home. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I usually do as well, but I mean, I don't have like hazelnut coffee at home and shit. So sometimes you crave it, you know? Especially so when I it's went, cold. I Especially went, when it's free, too. Yeah. I went, this guy's like, Did hey, you get some? Coffee's free. Well, hold on. Let He's telling yeah, the Joe, story Jesus. here, Joe. Jesus. Anyways, I show up and this guy, <laughs> this guy's like, hey, man, the coffee's free. And I'm thinking, because I've done it before, but it was only like the small. I remember right. it was just a small cup. And I was all like, eh, I'd rather get an energy drink. He's like, any size you want. So I did. I took like four of them. <laughs> Why so much? Just or are you taking them? Oh, no, you can I want to fill one of these up, bro. You yeah. can only get one, but fucking um, Misa texts me at 530 in the morning. And because he knows I was like down, like, fuck yeah, free Circle K coffee. I love Circle K yeah, coffee. Yeah, you like their iced coffee. Yeah, was it iced so or hot? Any Didn't matter. Either one. Okay. It's just coffee. It's fucking coffee. So anyways, so I go to the most obscure Circle K ever. Like, you know which one I'm talking about. It's the one in Sunset Heights by yeah. UTEP. Oh, yeah. No, it's like in the middle, middle of the neighborhood. Of the hood, I have never seen that yeah, Circle it's K It's the most obscure before. Circle it's K. It's right, like, right like, next to a park, right? Yeah. If, yeah. You don't, if you don't know that area, you never know there's yeah. a Circle K there. So anyways, I pull off there because I'm on my way to work. And it's like already close to where I'm where I work at. So... I pull off and then I walk in and then the fucking coffee machines are out of order. And shit. I was like, God fucking. I think that was bro. bullshit, dude. It was, dude. That's and then so on the bullshit. on the door and then like on the gas pumps, it had the ad like free coffee like January twenty fifth, two thousand twenty three. Well, that's close to UTEP, like, right? Yeah, yeah, it's right by. So UTEP. like, if you think about it, how many kids go in there to buy coffee? So they probably make a good amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, all, all the old people are there. They're, they're, they know a lot of people go there for coffee. Yeah, dude. But maybe that's, that's like their number one coffee that, place. That was fucked up though you know what and i mean like no free coffee but then on my no lunch one. i went to a different circle k which one the one on paisano now oh yeah, 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 one, yeah. no one there drinks coffee everyone's just buying <laughs> fucking beer. <laughs> Everyone's buying beer and fucking, fucking uh, black and wilds and shit um but yeah fucking there uh they had their coffee machines fucking uh pumping so i was able to get a large iced coffee with some fucking uh caramel macchiato Damn. fucking creamers in that bitch and that shit was how free. many sugars chris no sugars, just uh, two, three creamers. That's just raw doggy like that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, y'all need sugar because no, the sugars the already. Chris, Chris, is already Chris is already sweet enough, dude. Uh, yeah, dude, sweetie I'm, pie, I'm a fucking sweetie cake. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude. So it was fucking. Now uh, I want coffee. Yo, it's yeah. free. We yeah, still yeah, have to go get one. You got a few hours. Yeah, yeah. After this, yeah. yeah. After I, this I opened sure. your fridge and there was one in there. Yeah, I got one on the way home for Lena because, like, I was like, hell no, I'm not gonna go to a different Circle K and hit it up. You know what I mean? Because it's like, how are they gonna know? They're not tracking me. Yeah. Hey, that's so true. Yeah, dude. Let me see your ID. <laughs> yeah. Or imagine <laughs> I go and they, they like stop me. They're like, sir. Bro, you're twitching there. Like, how many have you had? No, Bro, sir. sir, this is your third <laughs> coffee. Sir, we're you fucking you crazy off. ass. <laughs> you're just there fucking feeding and shit. But yeah. no, you're going to hit up all the, all the ones I on the west side. Dude, there's so many, dude. You there's one get, on Borderland. Well, right Bro. here, there's there's like a there's like two three right here. There's a triangle of Circle K's right next to us. There's and then four within a mile. Yeah. Like four of them. Bro, Five of them. They have yeah. monopolized this side of town. Bro, you can sure. literally go get eight free Circle Ks here and only drive, or eight free <laughs> coffees and, and only drive like three miles, really. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking wild. I think the furthest one's over there by Thunderbird. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. So, dude, yeah. you know what, bro? <laughs> just fucking fill up a whole gallon. Just bring yeah. a bunch from different places and just fill it up and you'll be <laughs> good it for the week. <laughs> it grows. <laughs> <laughs> All water down and shit. Just yeah. save it and shit. Yeah. That's I mean, nice. yeah, if you don't put it on ice, yeah, yeah I think yeah. you yeah, but it could have you could. No, but even hot much? coffee tastes okay. So, after. how much Dude, I was actually thinking, you know, hold on, I was actually thinking like no other gas station will do shit like this, but right? I, I remember 7 Eleven would do like the free, um, free Slurpees, the free yeah. Slurpees. Oh, yeah, 7 Eleven on yeah. Yeah. in July, they still do it. Oh. They still do it, but they're like the small ass little Slurpees. Like the no, it's not sp- any size. Hell no. Circle K is like just have at it. But like, yeah. how much do you think it costs them like to do this? Like they're doing this. I'm assuming like statewide, nationwide. It doesn't cost them a thing. You don't think so? I don't think so. Uh, because I mean, somebody's because they make gonna... so much money on coffee. Think of how inexpensive coffee is. Yeah, that's true. But so they're... to do one day a year. What I want them to bring back is that fucking twenty cents off a fucking gallon. <laughs> yeah, they still that's, have it at. That's only on the weekends. At the Alons, if you uh, sign up for their uh, rewards program, you get a text on like for the next two days or whatever. Oh, but, but I, I just go get gas at Sam's. Dude, it's way cheaper. Dude, yeah, but that nobody, line ain't nobody want to wait in the fucking line. It's not that so. bad. It actually oh was pretty God. quick. Just put water in my drink. Oh. So okay, so. <laughs> Do you think Circle K does the free coffee thing because everybody goes there, gets free coffee, and then buys something else? Of course. 
That's what it is, right? Yeah, I mean, you're going to go in there and you're going to get a pan dulce shit. Yeah, yeah you're going to get that or you're going to get, get, some, get some you're going to get something, dude. Chris like, is going to get his you're coffee. You're going to fill up your car because you're right there. It's right. like they've done the research on all that shit and they're just still making money. Yeah. yeah. Like true. who doesn't want coffee? Who doesn't like coffee? There's there's not that many people that don't like coffee. So it's just to have it free. And that's just that. But the the type because they changed their coffee after a while right. remember like it's now good. it's like freshly yeah. grinded and yeah and you, you have so many different beans. flavors and you could have it cold and shit so fuck dude sign me up dude <laughs> free coffee every yeah. day don't they have the drink day. membership that you were yeah, talking about yeah they have the sip oh, yeah, it's called, yeah, the, it's called day, the sip and save right? i think you pay like eight bucks now a month a month and, you and could, then every day you can go get a free drink of whatever fucking dude, drink two buys like two drinks is like already fucking paid yeah yeah that's a good thing it's crazy. Two days That's one fucking. cup of coffee at Starbucks. Hey man, Circle K, dude, sponsor. <laughs> Fuck it, Circle just K. Let us we'll know. We'll talk man. about you guys all day yeah, if you man. want. We'll literally just talk about the Circle K Circle episode. K. Whether it's beer or coffee or <laughs> yeah. hot dogs, we'll break down the we'll glizzies. Go, we'll hey. break down their store aisle by aisle, just mm-hmm. complimenting them on how their mm-hmm. displays are and everything. <laughs> but yeah, fucking me dude, and they have a whole Mexican candy <laughs> yeah, section. Like the homeless are always nice. I didn't even have to keep going. These guys were like, "Yo, did you see the Mexican candy?" Yeah, and then it, like they got they, friendly cats too, bro. <laughs> they even the, sell like the friendly homeless bones. They're so friendly. They're so friendly. People feed them. <laughs> they even sell fireball there now. Oh yeah, <laughs> they do. Like fucking, oh yeah. yeah they do. What does it circle? Dude, K they sell? make fucking pizzas too and yeah, shit. Yeah, pizzas. COVID Glizzies. test. I've seen COVID test too. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, fucking Circle K. Your business model is amazing. We're just fucking here, like enamored with you guys. Yeah. Like fucking crazy. You could go grocery shopping there. Yeah, and then Bucky's <laughs> like, hold my beer. Yeah, but yeah, Bucky's. Yeah. Is it an, an EP? So they're irrelevant. Yeah. I don't think it'll ever come here. It's never gonna come here. Eh, Maybe th- nah, I doubt Circle it. Circle K is like H E B. Wait, isn't there. there one in Anthony? No, no. Uh, hell no, dude. There's no Bucky's here. There's like a Flying J and like the closest Loves, is but like Dallas and San Antonio, mm, yeah. Austin. Yeah, I don't think Circle K would allow fucking Bucky's to like intrude on their fucking. Dude, we don't have land for that shit. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The Bucky's sit on like five acres. Yeah, of land but if you shit. think of, every Bucky's is not in town, so coming into el paso from the west or east there is right. land dude, out dude all you gotta do is just add showers to a circle k and you got a bucket yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> and a fucking few like 10 10 or 20 more gas i think that already makes it a truck no this stop. would be like a mini one right like they make any everything mini you know like mini sneakers mini this <laughs> mini that you know like a mini, mini Bucky's boys and bucky's known for being like yeah, extravagant big. and being yeah, big. yeah. yeah cause yep. everything's bigger in texas yeah that's fucking fucking, fucking like a hundred pumps imagine you pick Damn. one and it's broken? Fuck. Imagine being the poor fucking worker there that has to go change the trash at a hundred fucking pumps. Dude. Imagine going that's to the line and fucking forgetting fucking your number. Sucks, when- oh, that sucks. You're just like, <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. They, um, they're now in Florida, right? Florida, Tennessee. What, yeah. So there's one that opened outside of Jacksonville. So we were on our way to, I think, North Carolina, one of those. So it was opening weekend of Bucky's outside of Jacksonville. The line on the interstate to exit to go to that Bucky's was insane. <laughs> the fuck? They Do they like, sell like brisket on that one too? Yeah, it's just exactly how they are here. It's kind of fake. <laughs> Why are you selling not, brisket and barbecue in Florida? Hey, I don't know. Doesn't belong to y'all. <laughs> What? Damn, fucking Joe, bro. God bless. Yo, tell, us how, tell us how Extra you really personal. feel, bro. Jeez. Florida's <laughs> trash. <laughs> Fuck. No, no, no. Have you been in Florida, Joe? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Orlando. I'm going back this year, of too. Of course, Orlando. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Orlando's, you haven't been to everything Florida. Else is so Orlando's, Orlando's, not, Miami. Orlando's not really Florida. Don't dude. go to Miami. That, Orlando's <laughs> Disney World. Let them go. Let them you know go. what I mean? Yeah, go to Miami and report back to me. Yeah, go right? to Miami. I'm yeah. like, I, I met a sugar mama. Shit, this shit's badass over here. in Miami. I got a condo here. You probably get shot in Miami. Joe. Oh yeah, I got I've, seen those, yeah. <laughs> I've seen those. Uh, I've seen those. I've seen those forty eight hours and shit. Yeah, dude, because it's bad out there. Yeah. Go to Key West. That'd be that sounds sick. even worse. No, no dude, what? Man, that's that's like the like chillest place on it, earth. Isn't Key West like uh, like uh, it's the like island, spring break? Son. No, I'm just it's gonna say chill. here, dude. Yeah, it's chill. It's chill. It's Very like relaxed island, living, island like vibes. Fucking retirement shit. Like you know what I mean. And like, they're just drinking all day. Yeah, dude. Riding so, their bikes and mopeds everywhere. Hey. Yeah, dude. Key West West. is way different f- from fucking Miami. So, anyways, speaking of fucking uh, really different shit that me and Misa have never done. Uh, this past weekend, uh, Misa fucking managed to get us into the fucking uh, the <laughs> best of end of the year City Magazine like award party show ceremony. Yeah, thing? it was a ceremony <laughs> party show thing ceremonial yeah, thing. Dude. 
So explain how that happened, Misa, because you're the one that kind of fucking pulled all the strings for this. Uh, I just went along. I was there for the drinking and for the uh, <laughs> the fucking comedic interviews that we did. But other than that, how did this come together? Um, it's funny, actually. All by um, Luis actually forced me. The thing is, is um, my buddy Luis that we worked together. The event was there at our job. I didn't. They don't tell us what kind of event is going on and stuff. This just you just set it up. If they know what we actually didn't even set it up. Um, I was actually in my lunch break and my boss calls Luis and he's all like, I, I guess he told him to do something. And then he's like, Misa, come with me. I'm like, bro, no, I'm on my lunch break. This is noon, bro. I go in at six in the morning, right? You're starving. Like I'm hungry and I'm fucking, he's like, please, I just had surgery on my hand. And you know, that's my guy. So I was like, ah, oh, let's do it quick. See what they want. So we go over there and then, um, come to find out it's, it's that whole ceremony for the best for the, the city, uh, the city that's magazine. City magazine. And so we met this guy named Chaz and uh, and we started talking and I just asked him like, hey, man, how can I get me and my buddy's face on that magazine? And he's all like, well, why don't you just talk to uh, um, the creator, uh, Shirley, right? Shelly. 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 Shirley. Shirley. Shelly. Every Shit. episode, there's one wrong <laughs> man. Every. I was just waiting for yeah. it. I was like, what do I have to come yeah. in Shirley. here? Shirley. So she, yeah. Well, anyways. Uh, Shirley. Shelly. Shirley. She uh, Shirley came through and uh, Shirley. and then uh, when she found out that we we're trying to well that we have a pod she she's I guess trying to start one herself so she was very interested and she was like well we're completely sold out we sold out like eight hundred tickets in less than a week and wow how and much they started, dro- they started dropping names I don't know I didn't even ask I didn't even know this whole event was going or like on. fifty bucks a ticket yeah and then uh, she just started dropping names of people that were gonna be there and, and all like this who? shit. Like uh, she said, like um, the district attorney was gonna be there. That's the the mayor, the president of the fucking uh, what is it, Children's Hospital, and all this, all these, all these big, big people, names, yeah. yeah, all these big names. Uh, Crystal Poppin was gonna go and perform, and Judge Samaniego, George Samaniego, yeah, yeah, and um, so she um she said how about uh how about you guys just come by i'll put your name down so you guys could come and uh set up and interview these people as they come in in the red car it's pretty badass and i was like they got a red carpet <laughs> and i was all like this was what like a thursday and then uh she's all like yeah it's a saturday and i was like oh fuck <laughs> you know like and sure enough i was just walking around and then um there's a guy named kino who has yeah, a, a his show, uh, that's salon, right? their studio studio one he also has a studio out there and I was wondering maybe this guy could lend us cameras or something. And uh, we made a deal and um, he, he lent us his two best uh, photographers and a camera crew. And they joined us and filmed all for us and everything. And uh, it was fucking awesome. It was so legit. You told Chris, you're like, hey, you better shower for this when you fucker. Yeah, dude. I even told him like, <laughs> fucking wear, wear something nice. I'll, I'll you fucking would wear a bucket hat to a- I told him to wear it, dude. That's fucking. That's uh, his that's signature. Us, so, yeah. That's yeah. Us. What's wrong with the fucking bucket hat? Yeah. I oh, don't know. It looks kind of informal. I mean, dude. What type of shoes were you wearing? Okay, dude. dude look at me. I have a bandana. And yeah, I have but, you know, but you know, you have style. He does dude, it. Okay, but look, when you say informal, the party was fucking pretty informal. I would say black and white. Yeah. Like people were just fucking drinking. Was that the everywhere. theme? Black and white. It's a black and white theme, bro. Yeah, dude. But yeah, like like uh, people were fucking drinks were had. But that's for sure. If people you're were getting promoting wasted. your podcast, that is your signature. Look. Yeah, that's the I style. Don't agree. I'm kind of a Joe on it, you know. Well, what you but, want me to fucking suit and tie? Yeah, would be like, yeah, or something like like. Nah, that's not us, though, nah. dude. That's no, not, that's no that's but not yeah, us. you guys had a promotion. Okay, 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 okay maybe if we were accepting a fucking award, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We you're there is like press. We're there to fucking interview people. So bro, we had a line. At people? one point, we had a line of people wanting to like get <laughs> interviewed by us. That's shit, badass, you know. Like, well, so, okay, but explain like the setup because we had one guy with the stationary camera, right? With the fucking big bulb glass, or bulb, and we had our mics, a big as well. bulb light behind us. So we had like it was like a nice spot on the red carpet. I should have I should have sent you that photo. <laughs> and then that. so they would come, they would take a picture, right, a still picture with whoever they were with. And then some of them would come and do like a little interview with us. And we had wireless microphones. So then we would just ask him funny little fucking questions. Dude, you know, the funny <laughs> part and the hard part is I didn't think at the fact that some of these people are going to want to talk in Spanish instead. Right. I had and no I, idea about and that. And I'm thinking because like we, we ran into some people and we met them and, and they're like, yeah, we'll do it. But only if we could do it in Spanish. And Chris is like, it's all you, Misa. And I'm thinking there, I'm confident, you know, I speak Spanish to my grandma every now and then, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Like I was fucking. I was telling Chris, like, dude, I suck, dude. Like, what the fuck Spanish is this? Dude, that shit's hard, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then all these people talk like formal fucking Spanish too. So 
But I think they like they were they they were down because at least we were trying. I mean, we for sure we made everybody laugh. Every single person we interviewed, we yeah. Because imagine if we were like, nah, none of us can do the Spanish scene. Then that kind of look would look bad on us. You know what I mean? They'd be like, what kind of in El Paso? What kind of it never hurts to try. You know, you just gotta fucking do it. So with that being said, you think you got an invite for next year's? Oh, definitely. Yeah, dude, for sure. Yeah, yeah. dude. Because I mean, um, a, a couple of days after when I was back at work, I went in there to check on them and. Dude, there was the first time they came back because they still went to a, the, this after party. Where yeah, was the, the, party? the mansion the, or something like the that. The Manor. The Manor, the right? So, um, and then they said they left like at one and then they went to all these gay bars after. And also, th- they even left like a few cars parked there for like two or three days. That's how hung over these people. Damn, <laughs> That's party hard. Hard. Where they were like nice fucking cars, dude. Like right. a Porsche out there, like nice fucking cars left there. And um, when I went, they're all cleaning up and, and they're like, how'd you guys like it? And thank you. You guys helped us make it, you know, look a lot better. And people enjoyed it. And at the end of the night, some of the people are like, hey, who were those guys again? <laughs> That's <laughs> badass. Yeah, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, dude. And then Chris Sal Poppin was there. If you guys don't know who Chris Sal Poppin is, she's an, uh, she's an up and coming artist from El Paso. I think she resides in Vegas now. Uh, she's always here, dude. She's fucking popping, though. Like she's actually making a good name for herself um, in the rap scene. Um, when you like, uh, so she was there. We actually met, we actually met her. We did that red carpet thing with her and then fucking she performed. So we stayed for the performance. We got to check all that out. Bro, we were like front, pretty pretty legit, dude. dude. Yeah, dude. Because we got we weaseled our way all the way to the front, and you know what's <laughs> VIP? The, you know what's the funniest thing about this? We were drinking Tall Boys the whole time. Oh, dude! But let me tell you why, <laughs> though. Like, obviously, like you we know, you have you have in a, there. you have a nice event like that, right? Of course, they're gonna have like drinks and stuff. And fuck yeah, they. So had you know, I w- I wanted to uh, buy our our camera crew some drinks and me and Chris some drinks, and I was like, you know, first round is on me. Dude, that was the first and fucking last round that I bought, dude. It was 70 bucks for like what? six drinks or yeah, something. Dude. Damn. Um, it's like, so, yeah, I w- so I'm not I, surprised. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, yeah, I was not I was like, shit, I was expecting maybe 50 or something, you know, but whatever. Um, after we finished the red carpet interviews, uh, I told Chris, let's go to a fucking Circle K, our favorite spot, and let's get some tall boys and sneak them in, dude. And that's what we did. We left, you know, before Crystal Poppins uh, started. It went up there, and when we came back, we had time and snuck away all the way up to dude, the front. What the f- <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah. nobody said anything because you had dude, tall there's boys. A, there's, said a shit. Table, there's a table, like there's by a, itself, right down the right. fucking middle, and said, we just both sat down. And, and there's legit cops in there, too. Yeah, like, EPPD was in that EPPD bitch. And but, what, but, but it's because what happened was when we we went in with the camera guys they were like bring your stuff like whatever you, your bags and stuff and so like we took that uh we took the little cooler shout out to chris molina for his fucking hydro flask cooler that one that looks like it a doesn't purse. even look like a cooler it looks like a purse it looks like a bag yeah. so we put <laughs> we put the beers in there from the beginning and so they thought it was just part of our fucking like equipment yeah, yeah. you know what i mean so then when we left we filled it back up with beer. We walked straight in through the yeah. front door with that shit. You even said what's up said to the anything. cop, you know? Yeah, dude, I even asked the fun. cop, aren't you cold, bro? Get in here. <laughs> Fuck. But, uh, but dude, where, you, where in Solomon Park was it? It's, it? It was where the old Navy used to right. be. It occupied the whole fucking store. Yeah. It's pretty big. It's fucking, fucking big, huge. bro. It was like huge. a big ass hall. It was like a little rave in there. The place okay. was packed. It was bro. crazy. Yeah. Dude. No, I saw we, that. Met, we met some fucking amazing people, man. That shit was for hilarious. Sure. I saw that Dr. Miami was there. I was like, what are you doing here, dude? <laughs> yeah. He's a, like the plastic surgery one yeah, from, yeah. from Miami, Mr. Uh, Worldwide or whatever. And I was like, well, that's so random, you know, but um, everybody who's everybody or yeah, who's dude. somebody in El Paso is, met is the there. owners of the tap and shit. Like, it was pretty cool, dude. But the funniest scene was that we were still slamming talls and nobody said anything, dude. Nobody even like, cared anymore, yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> it was fucking funny. I mean, we started talking to some random people at the end of the night. Uh, there was a guy. What the hell was that instrument he was playing, dude? <laughs> Fuck. The fucking... Um, What's it called? It's the, like the, a, it looks the like a cello. Big, the cello. The cello. Mm. He's playing the cello. But he was and playing he was it to Led Zeppelin, though. dude. Yeah. He was playing it to Led oh, Zeppelin. Nice. He was so. fucking killing that shit. And that dude looked like fucking Robert Plant. But <laughs> all right, sure. so Misa, give yourself a round of applause for getting this in there. Thank you, guys. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you. I was wondering, I was like, how did you guys? It was all thanks. I mean, to start, like I said, to start off with, fucking Luis forced me. You know, it was he's all a last buddy. minute. If too. it was Chris asking me to do that, like, it was dude, meant to be. Him. Yeah, yeah, it was meant to be. <laughs> so he forced me to go, and um, we actually had a, a, a podcast scheduled that day. Yeah. So um, man, we 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 changed things around and everything, and actually the person that we're supposed to have that sick. day she got sick so it was like meant to See, be you it was know? meant to be yeah it was meant so, to be i mean from that to like meeting chaz and then 
Chaz, you know, knowing that I have a pod, and he's like, oh, you have a pod? Well, well Shelly has a, wants to start her own, and she's the owner of the magazine. Come meet her. And so he called her, and she showed up, like, in five minutes and stuff, and that's how we talked. And then So you made a good impression. Gave me the passes. Yeah, I mean, I told her about who we'd had and, you know, what what our main goal is, you know, about El Paso. And obviously, they're the city magazine. You know, that's what they do and it's stuff. put so. El Paso on. That'd be dope, you know. That's opening a... It's a big opportunity for for us, and it opened a lot of doors. Yeah, yeah, dude. At one point, we went and um, we were talking to the district judge, uh, San Diego, right? You're like, um, get me off of this shit. I- and we were just talking to him and and just getting to know him and, and uh, maybe seeing if he could get in the pod. And he was such a fucking chill guy, bro. You wouldn't <laughs> you should have opened a, a, ch- a judge. Uh, you should have been like, you want a tall boy? Bro, he was yeah. already sipping, bro. Yeah, he he's already slapping. Yeah. So like, he we also met his daughter, right? She was she was very nice and. Um, I asked her, hey, is there any way you could take a picture of us? And then she's like, yeah, but by the time, you know, like we asked her that, like he's a district judge, everybody knows him. There's people just constantly trying, trying to, talk to talk to him, him. you know? Yeah, I got some charges. So we process. waited a little bit. We <laughs> spoke to her a little bit. And then she's like, you know, he's going to want you to send it to him, right? You know, every time he takes a picture, he's like, send me that, you know, and he'll give you his number or whatever. And I was like, all right. So sure enough, we took a picture and he's all like, send me that. Send me that to, to my number. And I had already gotten his number earlier. And I totally forgot the next day I sent him I sent him the picture and I told him, Hey man, it was it was a pleasure meeting you. Hopefully we could have you on the pod soon. And he's like, Buenos dias, amigo. And <laughs> I can't wait to get on there. And Chris is like, can, can, I get a race? <laughs> can I get a promotion at work real quick, bro? <laughs> I got a couple of tickets, man. Yeah, no, uh, take no, that dude, care of This was the fucking county judge, bro. This is yeah. like, he's I, I, the fucking like it? head in charge. Like all the COVID crisis, little could like uh fucking public like things that they have like he's at all of them this guy's like yeah. the main fucking deal dude it was so crazy you said this lady owned el paso magazine she's the she runs it her Shelly? name's Shelly. Okay. yeah so yeah, she, she's like the producer the fucking the CEO, you know what i mean whatever well you think of it the magazine is really just a podcast you yeah, know, yeah. It's a, it's a couple well, generations, it's, it's, couple it's, decades. It's back. an old podcast. Yeah. Right. Yeah, should, old version. Good on her for trying to evolve it into yeah, a right. current medium. Well, she's keeping it know. alive. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? So she, she knows that a, she has to adapt. Because they're the ones that do all the awards, right? Like the best in the city or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's what they were doing that day. That well, day. it's because also El Paso, we also found this out. El Paso Inc. has uh, like voting the same, like the best. Similar thing to yeah. yeah. go and vote and stuff like that. Yeah, but Peter Piper was there. They fucking uh they fucking won best pizza. And I agree. I, I yeah, I wouldn't care. be mad. Crave one, <laughs> some shit, no? Yeah, so, yeah, but fucking, that was cool. And like I said, shout out to you, Misa, for getting getting us into, like, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yeah, man, I, when I was <laughs> also excited when she told me that. And uh, um, and that's funny because she was saying, because I was telling her how we're just kind of, like, a laid back, you know, it's not really PC. And because she told me that in her magazine, there's a lot of stuff that they can't put down. Right. Yeah. And that's why she wants to start her podcast. So it, in some ways, I told her, you know what? That's kind of like what we are. You know, we're we're that one. We're like, you know, um, you're probably not gonna want to watch this live if there's kids around or something. You know, like yeah. you know, there's a little bit of swearing, but it's just very laid back. We want to know the the real person. You yeah, know? very intimate kind of way. And um, yeah, it was it was so cool. And I text Chris, and I was like, bro, I just hit the fucking a <laughs> gold mine. I just hit the jackpot. And he's <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> so all right so speaking of th- about things that are transitioning from things that never happen us on a red cart red carpet to things that happen all the all the fucking time yearly actually uh the dallas cowboys suck again oh, don't we joe God. yeah yeah <laughs> i was, uh, I told I was you so. go ahead and explain what happened joe I don't even want to talk about it. Pretty much, we uh, <laughs> Dak sucks. We need to get rid of him. We need a new QB. <laughs> you know what sucks? Of, you know what right sucks? Away. <laughs> for my little brother, uh, he, uh, my younger brother, he turned, what, 26 this year? And for his birthday, which was on the 16th of this month, I fucking gave him a, a Dak Prescott jersey. Damn, he jinxed him. So I sent him a message. I was like, dude, I don't mind if you fucking burn it, dude. I don't understand. Dude, he w- we would have won if he would have thrown those picks. Dude, or at was, least it would have been a closer game. He a throws sh- a pick every fucking game, right? It was a he, shitty game. Two, he at two least two. <laughs> at least the first half was not bad. And dude, then the and second then, half is just... And then when they broke Tony Pollard's leg, dude, that was fucking savage. That shit it was, was a tibula, right? Fuck. He broke his leg? Dude, they broke his fucking leg on a tackle. All nasty, dude. And isn't he on vacation, Dak? Well, bro, I mean, they're all on vacation now. I mean, that <laughs> fucking doesn't matter. I mean, they fucking got their ass kicked. But yeah, the Cowboys suck again, guys. Breaking news, right? Are you guys surprised? Honestly, no. were you guys like? I really you guys thought we really could have. I, thought, I really thought we could have beat San Fran. Yeah, I'm. I was disappointed, dude. Like because these fuckers always do this. Like he they had a always really just good fall game. flat on their face. 
you know, they normally do that in December, so good for them getting to January. But the week before, he had a great game against, against the Bucks. Brady. Right. And then the next week, it's like, who is this guy? Yeah. And hey, what does that say? It's just days after losing to the 49ers, Dallas Cowboys. He broke Prescott. up with his girlfriend broke today. Up with his bro- Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> but they've only been together two years, so that's not even like a crazy fucking thing. Maybe she's she won. broke no, up she with him. him. Yeah, she broke she's up like, with I only him. want winners. Yeah, she's like, I'm going for Patty Ice. <laughs> Or fucking oh no, she's probably gonna try to dig. She was in there for the bread. Brock Somebody Purdy said. now, yeah, dude. Of course she's <laughs> there for the bread, bro. Well, you'd be there too, Joe. You'd for the fucking, bread, yeah. Joe would be there for the bread. Exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> I'd be there for the pussy, but yeah, that's dude. it. Uh, if I was Dak, you know, Brady's but, girlfriend's gonna break up with him, also. Yeah, dude. But I don't know. Hey, Brady has a Dak, girlfriend, dude. Dak can get yeah. another baddie like that. I know, dude. Of course he can. He's, Brady's the, he's like a multi-millionaire, twenty-six-year-old or something. He's like that. the fucking Cowboys' starting quarterback, for better or for worse. Oh. Didn't he sign like a fifty million a year? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Contract. He's not going anywhere. For all the people that say get rid of Dak, like Joe did, did right away. That's what I want to see happen. Yeah, but that's, that's you think he'll ever be in another team? Yeah, again. yes, eventually, but he's not going to go anywhere. But next wait, year. how long before uh, Jerry Jones finally says, "Okay, I've seen enough." How many years of this bullshit? Maybe another five more losses. No, it's going to take like it's going to take like one really really bad year. Dude, where, look at that. That's where, they don't, even, where they don't even <laughs> that that fucking fucking where they don't even fucking make the like the playoffs where they just have a fucking shitty year. Go like get like four wins and like thirteen losses. That's what it's going to take. You know what I mean? But we never. We always do decent. Like this year, I think we did better than the year before. Yeah, we always do good. That's the problem. We do like pretty all right, and then we get to the I, playoffs. I mean, sometimes I just miss Romo. I don't know, man. Yeah, dude. I, I always miss <laughs> Romo. Romo's the bro. same, dude. He Nothing was a, happened with that was guy. He was good, dude. Dude, he's, our teams. He's better at his job now than what he was. As no, a I know, but our teams are better now with Dak than they were with Romo. Oh, yeah. Like, like just the team around fucking Dak is way better than R- Romo yeah. ever had. So he's holding him back. Yeah, dude. Fucking the best fucking running back fucking Romo nah, had was DeMarco Murray. With that being said, um, <laughs> what about Elliot? What do you he's, think? He's Elliot should have sure. been fucking gone since last year. He's bro. gone for sure. Pollard's a beast, dude. Pollard should injured. be the starting guy. And well, okay, but that's like a the I injury. The injury was kind of like a like a blessing in disguise because Pollard breaks his leg, so he's kind of kind of lose some value in the free agent market, and teams are not going to be like as willing to offer him like a long term deal because of the injury. So that may that means that Dallas is in a good position to sign up for like another one year prove it contract. Where is uh? You know what, I mean? what the fuck is a tibula? It's, it's right here, his dude. Like leg. he broke like right above his fucking ankle. He just oh. snapped it like it. It was like that. Most, yeah, dude. It was awful. It was gruesome. Wait, who was that? <laughs> Tony Pollard. They broke his fucking. How did you guys not like see this day of the game? This one. I didn't watch the game. Bro, honestly. God bless, dude. That was like the I biggest thought, fucking but, thing of like the biggest storyline was like. I had, dude. This is the first time I hear. It. Leg. This is the first time I hear. What? About <laughs> Where the fuck? I swear to God, it was the first time I hear that this <laughs> guy fucking broke fucking, his leg. Okay, why is Nickelback here? Because <laughs> look at it. Hey, Nickelback's Read a good song, a good <laughs> band. Yeah, look at this quarterback. Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. What people hate on Nickelback? Yeah, everyone hates on Nickelback. Why? I like Nickelback. I know. I like their music. What's your favorite Nickelback song? I don't know the name. Exactly. Photograph. <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> yeah, photograph. You have the name right in front of you, and you're like, I, I have no idea. I how like about how Far Away? Me. Far Away is good. Far Away is the best one. Rockstar is trash. Yeah, Rockstar is a good song. I like it's it. a good song. How You Remind Me is the OG classic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is how fucking you remind me. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. I truly That's enough. am. Copyright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nickelback. I, I go about a name one song. I don't know. But they're a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, that's crazy. So I mean, I don't know. I was st- Same I'm, shit, different year. Yeah, I mean, if you're a cowboy you fan, believe, you're used to this shit, dude. Do you guys like us as, as like, you know, very. Um, you, I guess you guys could say that you know, regardless that you fucking cowboys, so like you guys are still gonna be fans. You guys are yeah, loyal of course, fans. yes sir. Being loyal fans, you guys think that uh, that Prescott would ever win a Super Bowl? No, no, <laughs> at this rate, no. No, hell no, dude. Because Let's the teams are going to get worse in the next three years. years. So, like, the next three years, no. five years that he's there, the Cowboys are not going to win a Super Bowl. I don't Bowl. think so. Not no. with him at quarterback, dude. He can't. He does. He has no track re- record of playing well in the games that matter, dude. And it's not just in the fucking postseason. It's in the regular season, too. Yeah. All the big games that matter, he fucking comes out and lays a fucking egg. 
And it's just c- continually, continuing. That's why, like, don't you think that happening? That's why, don't you think Jerry Jones would be like, "That's enough." Yeah, but at the enough. same time, he's already paying him so much that he can't. I just, would love like, to see Tom Brady. Brady. He's he's no, because dude, if you cut don't him, don't even say. I that. would love to see Tom Brady no, play not, one year with the no, Cowboys. Hell, no. no. that would be Cowboys. amazing. That would be the biggest no. No, no. Okay, look. I mean, the Cowboys would lose all big money to fucking have him. But no, look. Here's the thing. He is last year. No, here's the thing. They've gave Dak a hundred million dollar contract. So even if they release him, they are still liable for his cap hit. Yeah. So they can't go and sign a fucking Tom Brady. They're not. They can't sign any other quarterback. They're stuck with this. But we can guy. make we can make uh, cap space if you get rid of Elliott. Well, yes, but also. Hey, what was his backup? What was his backup that did good when he got hurt? Cooper, uh, Rush. Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush. He's not going to be with Dallas next year, guaranteed. No, nah. yeah, someone's gonna scoop someone's him up. Someone's gonna snap him up, dude, because he he started the first like after Four. his what was it injury. like six games? Yeah. or something? yeah, he started six games and went like five and two, or like six games, four, four and two. two. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, fucking, it was. I mean, he's gonna be gone. Dak's gonna still be the only quarterback, the Suck viable quarterback Schlong. option okay. for the Cowboys. But yet, next September, October, it's gonna be the Whatever, same guys. thing. Next year is We're your still year, gonna guys. go to year. the Super Bowl. We At won. Least, two look, you games. know what? I'm actually, I'm actually. I'll give him credit that we actually beat Tom Brady at their house. Yeah, I was impressed. So I was, I was going into the 49er game with optimistic. You know, like we have a shot. Purdy's a fucking uh, what is it a first year second year rookie? rookie? He was Dude, the last pick in the draft. I don't like talking. The shit. last pick, he was a, yeah the last pick in the draft. I so like I thought talking, we could have beat him. I don't like talking shit if uh, if uh, y'all's team got farther than mine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, have that much, I have that much respect. Yeah, yeah. See, that's how much I hate the Cowboys. <laughs> uh, Who's your team? The Patriots. Yeah, Aww. trash. So, not yeah. trash. Get out of here. Look at no, you. Not uh, even thinking <laughs> about his Rams. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, they're trash. Of yeah, course. Yeah. The, the Patriots are trash. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So, anyways, uh, NFL football is over. So, now it's going to be a few months until we get some good football back. Uh, so, I'm sad about that. Um, so, who do you think is going to go? What do you I mean? I think it's going to be to the Super Bowl. Bengals yeah. and Eagles. Bengals and Eagles. Yeah, for sure. Because, look. Um, Pat Mahomes is hurt. Joe Burrow. Yeah, Joe yeah. Burrow is the, the Chiefs kryptonite dude. He no. beat him last year. Yeah, he's three and zero against the Chiefs right now. So I'm just glad I the mean, Bills are. Holmes is hurt, right? Yeah, yeah, he's he'll be back. You guys heard They're gonna anything? fucking shoot him up, and he's gonna be out there, dude. He's not yeah. gonna. He's not no. gonna not play. Yeah, he's not gonna not play, dude. This is like the biggest game. But for he's them. he's one like fucking offensive lineman rolling onto his ankle away from being like done. So the yeah. Patriots, the Patriots have won two Super Bowls in a row, right? Yeah. Has anybody won three in a row? No. I think yeah, the Cowboys three won two in a row, but no, I no don't three think the Patriots have a couple two in a row. Yeah, but no three Pete's. Right. No it's three okay. Peets. The Patriots will never get to the yeah, Super Bowl yeah. ever again. They will. <laughs> They're never no, going to get they back won't. there. Well, no, no, the, they won't. Won't. the Bengals win. Yeah. Yeah. The moment Bill Belichick is gone, the Patriots you guys are going to be, oh, be worse 17. than the Cowboys. No, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I could see it right now. Yeah. So who won last year? And it wasn't even Belichick. It was it was Brady who got you guys. It was Belichick had a big them. part, but now Belichick ain't doing <laughs> shit. Belichick. Belichick's the one keeping them competitive because they're yeah, it's like, not like they have they be, be making the playoffs. We That's should not be trash. Right? We were like this. Yeah, close. they were like, you, but you were a there. play away from making the fucking playoffs. Yeah, yeah but you so weren't there. when yeah. we were supposed to be one of the shittiest teams in the NFL this Who year, who is the shittiest team? The Rams. You guys did do some shitty shit though. This no, year. we, we self imploded <laughs> every single game. Who's your quarterback? <laughs> Mac Jones. Mac oh Jones. yeah, we beat him last year. We beat you guys last year, <laughs> barely. So, right. But we beat you. So <laughs> Chewy looks real sad because the Rams suck. <laughs> just kidding. I was even gonna say because of the Rams. Who do you think? Who do you think? He looks like a penguin, like a penguin for sure. Bengals and Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As much as I hate, I would. I want the Eagles to beat the 49ers I feel like it could. It's gonna be the 49ers and Bengals. Bengals always choke though. I mean, uh, the 49ers always choke this, in the Super this, Bowl. This uh, Purdy guy, man, he's kind of fucking... He's pretty uh, good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Purdy's pretty. It's going to be... It's, if he fucking wins, bro, like, it's just the fact His that His value's going to go up. Yeah, fucking, what a Cinderella like, story. What a fucking Cinderella story. You won't do sure. it. He's Joe a, Burrow deserves it, dog. But th- it's not as good as that uh, Warner story. Kurt, Kurt Warner? Kurt Warner story. I think that was probably... What, from bagging groceries? Yeah. Like, winning the Super Bowl? Fuck. With yeah. the Rams, right? <laughs> With the San Luis Rams? crazy. Yeah. Fucking... The fucking greatest show on turf. Chewy's out. See you later, Chewy. Bye, Chewy. <laughs> okay. He went to go get free coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he went to go get coffee for all of us. But fucking, okay, so it was pretty cold the last few days, right? A, a little, like, 
That's dude, I'm starting to feel Beyond like cold old man, for us. Dude. I'm starting to feel like, <laughs> yeah, like right now I walked out of the house. It wasn't it wasn't that fresh compared to yesterday. But it was, yesterday but it was, it was also it's still cold. It was also raining and I don't know if you saw that car that got stuck in that sinkhole. Oh Jesus. But no. It was like in central El Paso somewhere. But this So fuck, did that shit collapse while like the car was driving or did that car think it was just the car a big old parked? puddle? No, I think no because there was someone in the car. They got out, but I think what happened was they were driving and the road like collapsed, honestly. And fucking, uh, I don't think I, I just yeah. Google El Paso sinkhole. You'll fucking find it. There's a million of them. But yeah, that's what I was saying. Why do you think we have so many fucking sinkholes? Because they don't fucking the work on the roads, dude. Like every, right there, that one, every time it rains, this. even just a little bit, like there's a fucking sinkhole and like sometimes cars fall in it. Sometimes they don't, but I would hate to fuck. I would hate for that to happen to me. Imagine you go have into you the sinkhole. Have you ever? Have you guys ever seen like how they? Look at the car, bro. <laughs> that car is like gone. See you later. Yo, for your car's reason, totaled, yeah. bro. Yo, I'm gonna be late to work. <laughs> I'm stuck. They'd be like, "Call us when you're on the way. Call us when you get out. When they pull you out, yeah. you'll be okay." But yeah, dude, imagine that. Me. So, what would you do if you fucking fell into a sinkhole here? Like you know what? what you know what drives me crazy. Move? Uh, it's just fucking stay there and uh, Dude. Fucking, I don't know, man. Call nine one one and then yeah, pretend that's to be scary. Hurt. And then call up Chris and I was like, "Dude, you want to make some money? Get in my car real quick." <laughs> yeah, fucking you know? insurance through the city. <laughs> 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 nah, but it, it, dude, this pisses me off because it always makes me think like, have you seen like those Roman fucking roads that have been there for fucking hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands of shit, years, you know, and right. and nothing, you know, but because because we're fucking just half fast or shit. You think it's that, or you think it's just because they're building roads on sand? No, it's dude. It's a combination no. of the I think two, it's I think. the high it's the, way, the yeah, material. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, okay, nowadays, obviously, they're not going to make roads like how they used to. But mind you, that those that road, that neighborhood's old as hell. Yeah, yeah. dude. That's central El Paso, so all the neighborhoods. It's are probably one of the first fucked. neighborhoods in El Paso, you know? So, okay, so you think it's because they just use shitty material? El Paso has some of the shittiest roads. Like El Paso has some shitty, yeah, it's just country. shitty material, but you can't you can't think that a fucking asphalt is gonna last forever, guys. It's not, especially if it's, it's used not. a lot. And hell no, especially because yeah, because now we're fucking using cars, which fucking weigh a lot. They fucking drive through it every single day, and it rains and. You know, well, it's hot all the time too, right? That has something to do. They're with obviously it. using better, like better materials now, like on our highway. You don't see that well, happening on What they have to do is they have to like every like ten years or five years, fucking put some new asphalt over it. You know, like. Yeah. Well, I, I think the reason the the highways are better is because that's tech dot that's managed yeah. by the state. So the state has a lot more money to keep that shit flowing. But like these little neighborhoods well, that are El- like part of the city, that's like that's a, not tech yeah, That's not tech El Paso should have the money for it because one the taxes in the mm-hmm. city and every so many years they just passed it this past election cycle was another so many millions of dollars for fixing the roads, for the roads. but you know what's well, crazy? Then when are you gonna fix them well yeah but that's what that's also a huge problem because i don't know if you guys remember when they fucking started raining uh, what do we have a shit ton of weeds right the city mm-hmm. didn't have enough workers yeah. to fucking pull do all the weeds they dude. had like 22 <laughs> fucking workers for the whole city bro well, to then, fucking take care of they, they pay con- like shit dude that's you why know? they had to contract like fucking third other party. third party companies to do the fucking weed control yeah. but I, I saw that this fucking uh they're saying this fucking man, uh, sinkhole was caused by a water main break. Probably. Which is like... So they just left it leaking El Paso forever. water now is like kind of the, to blame because these fuckers get a lot of money too and they're always their shit's always fucking up too. They just had a rate hike also. Yeah. And then so. Like these guys have like trouble keeping the fucking storm, like the flooding, like from getting too crazy. They're supposed to be running like the storm management systems. Like it's fucking crazy, dude. I don't under, I don't understand why this always fucking happens. That's just what I'm saying. Like why? I mean, for a city this big, I think um, it, it kind of has to. Okay, in some ways, like it, <laughs> it happens. Now imagine like in in, in Dallas. Now imagine like in Houston and shit, like those big ass fucking cities, dude. Yeah, this shit fucking happens every day. Yeah. Well, like you know, it's crazy. Like and it when, rains them over there. When there. you've seen those like big fucking like in Florida when they had that bridge collapse. That shit was like crazy because yeah. that shit's like super bad. Like that's when like a fuckload of people end up dying and shit. Yeah. Obviously, this probably just affects a few people, but I mean, yeah, this only affects the driver of the little, fucking car. A little inconvenience. <laughs> a little, a little inconvenience. Yeah, but here. not long ago. <laughs> Yo, you call your friend like, "Hey, bro, can you come help me?" Just hey, a little a inconvenience. 
<laughs> and you're walking over there thinking they got a flat tire. The battery's dead. Hey, bring in an air dryer. <laughs> and then you just see the whole fucking car it being enveloped by the earth. Like, yeah. fuck. You, you know it's bad? A little inconvenience. There's a new neighborhood out by, like, McNutt. Right. Way out there. All these new houses. Already a sinkhole. Like That's what I'm saying. Of, what? So they're probably building shit way too fast. They're building it too fast. This is sand. We're in a fucking Literally desert. Literally sand. Yeah. Like, so it's like. Sand is fucked. You know, it's probably going to take some different methods to build this shit. Yeah, there's right. a process. Obviously, these engineers. And they're cutting know, corners. Like right. And the money's not getting allocated. Yeah, right. I don't know. That shit is fucking but crazy. But that's New Mexico. Yeah, well, it's still the same that thing. That shit ain't got to do with us. <laughs> what is happening Don't here? Give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> bro, shit, I got a flat going to Chewy's, bro. And that's in fucking New Mexico, the fucking street. And I'm thinking, like, I know there's fucking, like, Nails. a bunch of little holes, like, fucking. There is. Before there you is. take a ride into his house, there's a big old hole. Dude, there's, the like, 30 of them, dude. Yeah. And you can't see shit. At you night, play. you can't see shit. Bro, I was there. driving, and next thing you know, it's like, go, go, Wow. Yeah, dude, that shit was funny. I didn't know I had to fly until I got home. Remember that day? Really? Yeah. Remember that day? You just drove on the fucking, on your rib? All the way down, dude. Remember that, <laughs> that day we went to Chewy's, and then he fucking smacked me in the face with some THC, and then uh, we were driving back. <laughs> And I, I literally told me because it was dark, dude. It was late already, and I can't see at night when I drive. Yeah. So I was like, literally, Misa, you have to fucking drive, dude. Yeah, so I, I pulled circle. over at of the. Of course, circle we K. stopped at a circle. <laughs> K. Always, bro. There's always a circle K around. There's always a circle K involved in our stories. Bro. Yeah, and we did cop some beers, and then Misa dropped, hopped in the driver's seat because I could not see no more because yeah. it was too dark. Not just that. You're old. You know that? I am old, bro. Dude. My eyes are old. Dude, but I have like 70 year old people eyes. Dude, I was, uh, we were, like, we're just talking about the cold and shit. That's how I've been feeling like the past, like, probably year and a half now. Like, I'm always, every time there's cold, I used to love the cold, bro. Like, this type of weather, I fucking love it. But now I can't handle it, dude. It's like, yeah. it's 65, it 70 degrees. <laughs> it fucking hurts my feet and my knees. Bro. <laughs> you have arthritis. <laughs> you have arthritis. He's got arthritis, arthritis like, already. Fuck, like, it's just fucking cold, you know? Like, it's 70 degrees inside of my house should be, like, good. And I'm fucking freezing my ass off. I'm telling my wife, like, it's fucking cold in here. <laughs> fucking and I wake, up, I wake up super it's early hot. all the time. So I'm walking around at work or whatever. I have to go outside, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm fucking, like, I have, like, You three, have to be bundled up. And dude, shit. I have, like, three thick sweats. Sweaters and a big jacket and shit, like double pants and <laughs> socks, and I'm still fucking cold. He has a ski ski uh, hate it. clothes. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude. Just bad, out of control. Bad, bad, bad. I so hate you would it. never live anywhere where it snowed. No, I still would, <laughs> but I'd probably just stay inside. Just go live in Florida, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Florida. All right, so let's do this. We're coming up on 47 minutes here. Let's take a quick break. Um, cause God knows Mises has got to fucking piss himself. Actually, yeah, I need go. a smoke break. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break. Joe's going to fill his lungs with cancer. Jesus um, but what, what we're going to do when we come back guys, we're going to, we're going to burn through some trending topics or not trending, but like national topics that I found. Misa has some fucking brand new hot Cheetos that he's going to let us try. And then Joe's going to hit us with this fucking movie segment and I'll close out things with some fucking this or that questions for Misa. Uh, so that's what we're going to do all in the second half. Um, so thank you all for fucking liking. Thank you all for subscribing. Uh, shout out to our sponsor, Next Gen Sports. Shout, shout out to our boy, I and I Glass, uh, Omar from Sun City Vibes. Um, so we're going to take a quick break, guys. Episode 167, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. We're going to take a quick break and we will be right back. Try to replace me, but bitch, I'm one of a kind You know I be speed racing up on the Highway 95 Look, I don't give a fuck why these niggas hating on me Oh, wait, because I got your bitch tripping on me She said my love for methods and got her leaning on me Spanish mommy with that accent, but she call me poppy okay. Yo, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Misa from the pod Yo, I know y'all have noticed how good me and Chris look rocking this merch, huh? Well, this is all thanks to our sponsor, Next Gen Sports. Next Gen Sports is your local destination for all things sports, from sports cards to authentic sneakers, customizable t-shirts, and even official team jerseys. So whether you're buying, selling, or trading sports merch, cards, or sneakers, Next Gen Sports is your go-to for the most fire sports gear. What's that? Oh, you're not a big sports fan? <laughs> That's all gravy, baby. Next Gen Sports is still your go-to spot for all customizable shirts. Just like this one. Look. Sheesh. 
anyways guys the best part about all this it's super affordable there's delivery here in el paso shipping anywhere in the u.s canada and mexico so go on go go check out next gen sports on all social media platforms including tiktok it's all in the description below guys go support the people that rock with us tell them that chris and misa from the pod send you and as always stay fresh all right guys we are back from break episode 167 conversing with chris and misa the podcast all right guys so what we're gonna do here we got some uh fucking trending topics that we're gonna hit um but before we do that and also joe's got a fucking uh movie fucking segment that we did we did a segment like this last time what was um, it what was it called it was rate their fate rate um, their fate that's right so last time we did food and we rated different food like we went around the studio and rated the different food like from one to ten so we're gonna do that with uh joe's movies um, but we're going to do that in a little bit. And he also said they all have one, like they all have a certain actor in them. Right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll get into that. Mies is a big movie guy. I'm not the biggest movie guy. I feel like Amanda's a little bit more of a movie person than I am. I and mean, I, I can say like I'm a huge or big movie. I'm right? sure you've it's seen like at least regular. four, three of these. I, I feel like Joe's a, a movie buff too. Like he's a big Netflix guy. I think whatever's what I mean? trending really. Joe likes to watch a good movie while he's smashing a baby mom. <laughs> just put it on his background. Yeah, put just put it on. Put Netflix on for the kids. Her face, she's she's like, baby mamas. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, Those are his you? targets, you know what I mean? Like that's Especially like, on a weekend with the, when they have no baby. <laughs> Sheesh. That's when the freaks come out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you no, fucking, I can only imagine. <laughs> Joe, Joe be eating all them fucking kids' snacks and yeah, shit. Yep, Lunchables crazy. and everything. Right? Steal their PS5. I, I play their PS5. He's all playing for Fortnite and shit. With He's like, snacks. let me fucking unlock with the fucking, these skins for with you. the gummy bears, the gummies. <laughs> Fuck. That's some savage shit right there. All right. So before we do any any of wait, all, <laughs> hold on, wait, hold on. Chris, do you go to a girl and first ask like, do you have any kids or something like that? Or what? Nah, but I mean, you can kind of tell. I mean, before tell we meet away. up, yeah. Look at their Instagram. Yeah. Uh, no, tell. I'm saying like it's just somebody oh, like that you just like, yeah, uh, like you just go up to somebody and then like you yeah, baby mama. I mean, yeah, I'm like you want to be? Hell no. <laughs> Not like I'll, I'll, if I don't know him from like social media or whatever, I meet him at the bar, uh, buy him a drink, get to know him, and then I'm never like there all night. Like we usually, I usually bar up, so I'm like, oh, let me get your number. Always ask for number, never Snapchat, and then find out later if she's a baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm mama. like, oh, what do you do? like if it's a Friday or Saturday? Oh, what are you doing tomorrow? Something fun day. Oh, I, and usually comes up. Oh, I can't I have to I have to got my kids tomorrow, yeah. or and there's I'm not gonna be free because I have my kids. There's so. also signs because typically they'll have like the kid as a background. Yeah, and shit. there's so a lot yeah. of telltale yeah. signs. Like Joe likes the ones where they have their tattoo, the kids tattoo, yeah, the, kid's tattoo. Tattoo. the name, and, yeah. and you're like, is that the kid or the dad? Is that the kid or the <laughs> <Both>. dad? <laughs> Oh, fucking Ricardo <laughs> Junior, Junior. Junior. Yeah. So, but yeah, fuck it, it's crazy, dude. The whole fucking dating scene now is a mess. Yeah, it is a mess. I can only imagine what that would be like. I know, fucking me. Thank and, God, me and me. So we actually, I we, actually, yeah, we didn't talked we talk about, about this. this. We were like, dude, thank God because yeah. fuck that. It's because uh, one of the photographers was like, oh, there's so many beautiful women out here, and you know, I wouldn't know who to talk to, and I was, he looked kind of stressed about it, and I was <laughs> like, Chris, like, thank God I'm married. Dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. What if you weren't married? What'd you be doing right now? I don't know, dude. That's a hard question because now I have kids. And what if you don't have no kids, no wife? Shit. Playing video games. I'd probably be like traveling a lot. You'd be traveling? What trying about you, Chris? Trying to do different stuff. Everywhere. Probably the same shit I'm still doing right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't change like, much. Just yeah. without your partner? Yeah. yeah. Without, without, I, I, he'll still have butt light, though. Yeah. Somehow I would have a dog. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'd have two. You never know. Just kidding. I probably wouldn't even have one. Yeah, you wouldn't have a dog. Uh, but no, I'd have the new Xbox. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the newest one. That's for damn sure. I'm not even lying about that either. The whole room, the whole yeah. house would be uh, like a bachelor pad. It's a bachelor's cave, son. You know what I mean? But I, I would. I don't know. It's hard. I don't know, man. It's weird. Pong everywhere. You know what people I mean? have asked me that before, and um, and then I try and think about it, and it makes me feel like a piece of shit trying to think like a life without my kids and wife. You know, like. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, I do for sure. I'd be fucking somewhere in Hawaii or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. In Hawaii? Traveling like, yeah, for sure. Traveling. Yeah, I'll for be sure, somewhere man. Somewhere in the sure. Caribbean, you know what I mean? For yeah. sure. When I get older, you know, like uh, hopefully before my kids move out of my crib, I want to make sure that we fucking we're able to travel different places that 
we won't be able to otherwise. Joe, put that shit down. That Write that shit down. That, no, put that oh. shit down. That fucking rapper that you're fucking <laughs> messing with. I was going to throw it at you. I thought it was his fucking neck. I thought it was static in the mic, and then I saw his I was going to throw it in your cup. God damn. All right. So what we're going to do, guys, Misa discovered these chips, right? And uh, I, should, I was just shocked. I'll let you take it from me here, Misa. Tell us about these chips. Okay. Well, this morning, usually, you know, on, on my way to work, I always stop at Circle, Circle, Circle K. K. Hey. Hey. You sponsor us already. Yeah, 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 yeah. This episode title, Circle K. Yeah, yeah. Titled <laughs> the Circle K Day. And um, I fucking, I show up and then I find out that there's um, free coffee or whatever. And as I'm, you know, my coffee's filling up, I'm, of course, you know, like Chris said, hey, you got free coffee? You got you to gotta eat something with it. So I was looking at some like bread but right next to it i saw like hot cheetos but they look like a different bag and sure enough it's i saw these right here i don't know if you guys have tried it these right here they're called uh cheetos flaming hot tangy chili fusion Sheesh. a lot of words in there oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude that's still a little too many for a fucking bag of chips um, bro and so as i'm doing it this guy is all like um hey man you should try him out and he had a bag open and then right off, out of nowhere, he's all like, hey, what does tangy mean? <laughs> like, what's what does thing? tangy mean? Yes. And that's just made me fucking. Tang? I was late to work for like five minutes because we fucking spoke for like 15 minutes about like what the fucking word meant. Tangy. <laughs> tangy. Like, how would you describe tangy? And, and I was like, just dude, after we had a conversation, I was like, just Google it. He's like, no shit. Uh. <laughs> I feel like uh, tangy just try be like the citrusy <laughs> kind of. Well, yeah. Remember the drink tang? Yeah, the yeah. monkey and shit. That means something else, Chris. No, I well, Please I mean, <laughs> no, that wasn't, dude. It was a kid's drink. <laughs> How fucking know, sunny delight. Are you talking bro? about orangutan? Tang. This, yeah, there it is. Yeah, tang. It's this like was, citrusy, right? This yeah. shit's not around anymore, is it? Tang. Tang. Okay. Is it still? Pigment around? flavor smell. A anyway, so salad. I got it. Yeah. I thought maybe we Heart could try acidic. it. Acidic. Yeah, citrusy. Um, I was a huge fan of the hot Cheetos extra hot. Now they're like, I prefer them over the regular Cheetos. There's also a hot Cheetos lime. Those are the best. Those are good. Dude, I, it makes me want to go to a Circle K and get a hot Cheetos with cheese now. Yeah, dude. Fucking bust up in the back. Throw that cheese in. Right, I don't know about no so, coffee. Um, I, I thought we could try them out real quick. If hot you guys Cheetos. have tried them, let us know down in the comments what you guys think. I love hot Cheetos. Um, Big hot Whoa! Cheeto guy. Big, big hot Cheeto Whoa, guy. Whoa, okay, here. take a whiff before you guys. Take, take a take. whiff? Yeah, take a whiff. A big one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh it reminds my, me of downtown Juarez. Bro, fucking Joe, did you take a whiff first? <laughs> yeah, I did. Amanda, they, no. they smell good. No. Just smell it. I don't it. know if I want to smell no, it. No, just, well, smell, just it. smell it. Just, I mean, I almost slowly died. Though, slowly, though, Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they're trash. <laughs> the, the trash. They smell like the chicharron with like that certain fucking... <laughs> So what? That's a no go. That's a no go yeah. for Joe. It's like sweet. Is it? Is it sweet? Yeah. I'm gonna be mad if these are sweet. Let me see. Amanda, what do you think? Yeah, I don't like them. Yeah, no. no. They're not gonna last. Save the bag. They're not you're gonna see them again. Oh yeah, they're tangy for show. They're tangier the than the lime ones. It's like why fuck with a hot Cheeto? They're just good the way they are. Bro, these are fucking ball sacks. <laughs> you like ball sacks? No. Nobody really does if you oh, think man. about it. I feel like it's got are, like an Asian flavor to it. Yeah, like a Mexican Asian chili, yeah. like weird way. You know what I mean? Like I don't line, know. like if Jackie Jackie Chan banged Selena and they had a child. I think towards, <laughs> I think towards <laughs> the end was good, <laughs> but when you first bite it, yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. Towards the end, they just taste like hot Cheetos after a while. <laughs> but that first fucking bite, it's just like whoa. They got Circle K like yeah, sour. Wait, if you guys could rate it from one to ten, Joe. I'll give it like a two. Yeah, Chris. A two? Bro, a two is like spit that shit out. Yeah. This is like a five. I'll, I'll give it Middle like of a, the road. Like a four. Three. If I was starving, I would have fucking demolished these. Oh, yeah. Anything, Chris. Oh, well, yeah. Mean, yeah. You already do. Well, not I would these. not. I would not put this in my sandwich for sure. Right. Hell no. Not a, not cannot be allowed around the sandwich. Not even in the same. So you want some more, Joe? It looks like you're enjoying them, dude. No, I'm just like giving them a fair taste, you know? <laughs> All right. We'll, just not, leave, we'll leave them out there, dude. All right. So Fritos or... Hot yeah, hot Cheeto people. Cheetos tangy. If you guys are listening to us, just focus, focus on keeping those hot Cheetos, the regular and the lime and the extra hot ones, the yeah. way they are. We don't need a fourth flavor, okay? Mm -mm. PSA, mm -mm. we're good with the hot Cheetos, mm -mm. okay? If we want to get crazy, we'll add some fucking cheese. Dude, imagine they make some like tripitas flavored. Mm. What? <laughs> Where's those exotic snacks? Oh, no, dude. Yeah, dude. 
Tripitas Hot Cheetos. Tripitas, wait, say it again. Say it again. Have you seen Tripitas. those Little Caesar pizzas in Mexico? They put al pastor on there. Yeah, I've seen that. That's just fire. That's some fucking TikTok shit for sure. Never seen. It. <laughs> okay. mm. All right, so I say we do this. Should we? Uh, yeah, I say we burn through these uh, topics really fast, and then um, what we'll do is we'll do Joe's movie segment after. But Misa, I feel like I need some fucking. I, I feel like I need some music here. That's what I feel like I need. You guys really need Just, some music? Right yeah, now? I feel like we need some music in here. Hey, speaking of, do you guys know, like, <laughs> obviously right now, um, the Avatar movie, right? Avatar, yeah. uh, what is it? The Water Warner? Rising or some shit? Never seen I it. I have no idea. I, I haven't seen it, but it's fucking, <laughs> it's breaking all these fucking records. It's like right? three, it's like three hours long, dude. Yeah. Um, Not the that. James Cameron. James Cameron has now three movies that have grossed over two billion, over two billion. Or four, feet. something like that. That's crazy. It's Titanic, right? And Titanic then and Avatar. The first two Avatar I told you. Damn, that guy must be good at making movies, huh? I'm just saying, right? I mean, but how much money did he fucking take to make all these? From what I heard, I like a lot of these. Like two billion or something. A lot of these, um, like, parts of the second movie were already filmed, like, during the fucking first one. Oh, yeah, because he wanted them to keep, hate, to keep man. young and look the same. True. That's crazy. Wow. So, Avatar's lit, huh? Well, how about that? I don't know. I, re- I saw the first one. Not interested. But, dude, in he, really? he's done so many hit blockbusters, dude. The Avatars, Titanic, uh, The Terminator, the Aliens. Dude, fucking Terminator. Uh, all the Terminators. Um, no shit. Yeah, dude. Uh, Rambo. Um, <laughs> God damn This guy Rambo? Fucking Jeff Cameron Who would have thought James Cameron James, James Cameron, Cameron. Um, Dude Jeff's a bunch of brother He's Make a over fucking, two you know. billion dollars God bless I wonder so, what his net, net word is I saw my mom She went to go see this movie In, in theaters And I had no idea That Cinemark Had these uh, Theaters Where it's fucking All four sides uh, Three sides Yeah That XD shit that, or Whatever it's called Yeah so Like she sent me a picture And it was like If she was underwater Cause yep. like both walls On each side Were like it's A crazy. screen Which is fucking awesome that Fucking avatar cool. bro Dude he's worth like 700 million dollars yeah, that's crazy, dude. I mean, if you make movies like that, then yeah. So, I mean, that's fucking absolutely nuts. Amanda, did you see that thing on FitFam about the girl that posted all her fucking... Uh, her real what? estate yeah, billboard? So, okay, yep. so what what is this exactly? So I This guess, is El Paso being El Paso yep. for you here. She's, a, I guess, a realtor. And she put all these billboards along her ex boyfriend's route to work wow. and home so he was forced to see her that's terrible when your little sister posts billboards throughout her that tells me she's a terrible and... realtor i'm just saying that right now if yeah, she, focus care, on making she money. cares more about that than actually selling a house get the well, fuck out of here well yeah. guess what maybe they planned it out because this is such a good reel i'm sure she's getting calls right now i'm sure no i no, it's the opposite like i said i think this is doing her more harm than good yeah especially if like Cause that's that that those are tailored to a specific person. Yeah, dude. Like, on his route from yeah, to work get and the from fuck home. Out of here, like you, you do not deserve to be a. That realtor. could be wor- like the worst marketing area. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look <laughs> well, at all those empty. Are new uh, houses. I mean, you know, the guy's gonna see it first things first. So she got that point across. But I don't want this lady looking for my house. I'm that's not it. I'm spending sorry. marketing dollars on mm. an ex boyfriend. Right, and like, I, and I wonder why he's an ex. It's probably because she's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and given she's from El Paso, yeah, she's yeah. probably crazy. Put it up EPT on the map, and uh, you can for the see this reasons. on the FitFam fucking Instagram. She looks like somebody's baby mom. At the real <laughs> Hey, I'm looking for a house. <laughs> hey, there Joe's in the market. Yeah. All of a sudden, you All of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Uh, All so. of a sudden. <laughs> Let's stay close to home here with this uh, fucking El Paso news. We're going to stay close to home, but not too close to home. We're going to go to Texas here. Uh, a Texas woman steals her cousin's $1 million lotto ticket. Let's get some more music here, Misa. What, I need the fucking what? vibes here. Pull this one up, Amanda. This was a very crazy story. I thought we were going to the other <laughs> Texas one. Sorry. Uh, we'll do that one after real fast. We'll honorable mention here. But this one is crazy. I could see Joe doing this to his sister. <laughs> Stealing? No way. Yeah, 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 dude. He stole her fucking... St- stole the $1 million scratch-off ticket... And then took it in for a lump sum amount. She cashed it out. What? And now she's facing 16 to 48 months in prison. Is it Damn. worth it? No. no. Did she keep the money? Well, no, because you stole it. So it's a crime. So now that money gets probably confiscated. Plus, you fucking all these court fees. And you think it would get returned to the... No, fuck no. There's probably some, like, 
the clause that the state yeah, doesn't have some, to pay Yeah, out. there's a clause somewhere that says if a, a fucking... It was like fraudulent. Right, if a fraudulent ticket was cashed, then nobody gets anything. In okay. fact, y'all owe us money. Yeah. But it's not that? fraudulent. The ticket itself is it's not fraudulent. It's going to be something... S- Something no, but along the, those lines. If it fraudulent, was cashed out in a fraudulent way, in a, in a, like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, government, so the government is going to persecute, but not return the money to the rightful owner. No, I That's guarantee the you, government. they're not doing that. Yeah, <laughs> That's kind of fucked. The government doesn't care so about it. Where anything. does it go? Where does the money go? Back into the lotto. Yeah, How did they prove the it state? though? Well, I mean, so obviously the family member had to go make a report about this, and then you know the cops probably got involved. And then, yeah, it's not hard to find out who cashed the fucking winning lotto ticket. It's public record, I'm sure. Well, yeah, that part's easy. But, but the whole yeah. how did you proving did, that they stole it, that you won it? Was well, his name, I'm did sure he sign this, his name this on guy it, like, probably got crazy thing. enough where he got footage from when he went and bought the fucking. Yeah, yeah probably. What if, yeah. What, if, what if, like, he went to go buy it as a gift, right? So many people always get, like, gifts as, like, yeah, a fucking true. scratch off. Yeah. And Nick, next thing you know, he find out that she fucking won it. Hey, I fucking bought that. That shit's mine. Yeah, yeah. shit like no, that. Like I, that. I remember we covered a story like that where it was a grandma and a kid. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And they yeah. fucked up, so they're getting yeah. the money. Somewhere split. along the, uh, the way, they charged this lady in 40, 16 to 48 months in prison. How much is that? That's two years now? That's two years. That's up to four years, actually. Yeah, but 40 you know, months? That's yeah. two With years. behavior, should be out in like a week. Dude, there's a fucking year. 12 months in a year, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. So 24. God, fuck That it. is four years. You're right, he you're said, right, you're right. He yelled at me. It's ah! two years. Well, you said what? 16. I said 16 to 48. <laughs> so it could be anywhere in between. <laughs> That is God wild. It, <laughs> this is something Joe would do. I'm telling you. Hey, imagine he, she just stashed some money right. for when you get out. Right. I wonder how much she spent and what she spent it on. Did she get to a, a point large where sums, she spent like 900 well, or she like took the lump 600? sum, so she right away lost like most of it, probably. She probably yeah, got 500000 And yeah. then it's all but gone how now. soon after? Like, I wish you could know more about yeah. this story. Yeah. Well, how about this? Speaking of Texas... Do you guys, uh, have you ever seen what a fucking Texas cafeteria looks like at a high school that fucking has a $60 million football stadium? Why? What? How? (laughs) Here you go. This fucking cafeteria. Is this a a private? This is in North Texas. It's probably not a private school. It's probably a very wealthy area, though. District, yeah. And these guys have a fucking cafeteria that looks like a mall food court. Uh, Restaurants to include Subway, I believe, is one of them. And uh, it's, it's dude, absolutely it, crazy. This high think, but they're probably f- charging like they do in the fucking airport. Pizza Hut, dude. This this, this food court's better than the one at Sullivan Park. Yeah, dude, for real. Holy, what? Yeah, it's crazy. Look, it has the stores that it has right there. It has a Subway, a Pizza Hut, a Great Plate, which is a like a vegetable and fruit place. Caliente cactus. Caliente ca- cactus. Yo, the burrito and queso. Grill, yeah. the Grill. Roots, chopped panini. Dude, that is... It has a panini, what? bro. What the fuck? Yo, chopped is so good. That is crazy. Imagine going to school there. I never want to graduate. Look at the yeah, fucking look stadium, Look at the football dude. stadium, okay. bro. What does that say? Oh, I can't read. This is in Allen High School, Texas. They have a food court, $60 million football stadium, almost 5,000 students. 46% are minorities, 13% are economically disadvantaged, great college readiness, and you mean to tell me RRHS can't even manage to get an air conditioner for the gym? That's yeah. probably the fucking, like, the governing body of the school district or something. But, Dude, I don't know, that's crazy. Million. I mean, okay, can we can we <laughs> find out, like, if there's, like, a, like, can I send my child over there? Like, you, you probably do. Can. I have to live there. Dude, yeah. even if I do live dollar there, stadium, dude, you you're, you're probably you wouldn't get your kids would not get admitted there. None of ours would. Okay, but let's say we do live there. Like, do we still have to apply? Like, I'm sure you kids? do. Yeah, for sure, dude. If they're pulling shit out like that, not just anyone can go there. They gotta have money. It's a high school with five thousand students. That's not a lot of students. I can see right? why that was. Um, a big stadium worth that much. I mean, Texas is king. I mean, Texas football's football, king in Texas. Especially yeah. in North Texas. Where I don't at. know. I think I'm going to go back and get my... Uh, my get uh, your GED, Get bro? your GED. Oh, dude, my high school diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, get your real diploma. There you go. <laughs> okay. I do have my All real right. diploma. So that is absolutely crazy, guys. I remember our shitty little fucking lunch fucking hall. <laughs> the at best Coronado. thing about like like oh, I like I think the, it was like even better in middle school because in middle school like we had like a little window where you could oh yeah the snacks personal snack pizza bar. And, like, and you'd have the like the uh, what is the it cheese. the cheese and you have the raspas the my grandma, red or the like, blue one my grandma worked at the my grandma worked at the one at Lincoln so yeah. we all know her. yeah dude that was dope oh, dude that was- and it was cheap it was like a dollar for. Uh, 
like a dollar fifty. Everything was like over under a dollar fifty. A dollar propeller. I mean, if you yeah. think about it, like our high school was like fortunate enough that like we had we open had, campus. We had open campus, and then like right. you had like Taco Bell and like Chinese McDonald's. food and pizza, and McDonald's, yeah. and you could go Art anywhere, Vino's. dude. You know, like Pito's in high school, Chris was the burger. first one in our class with the car, dude. So we were go. We started going to Peter Piper. We started going to Chico's. Yeah. I would go Hooters. with my brother, man. My brother's older than me, so as a freshman, I was just going lunch with him and tell my friends like, ah, oh, fuck you guys. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> we drive to lunch. That yeah. shit's funny. All right, let's get some more music here. Do y'all remember Rick Ross? Yeah. The boss. Oh. 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 Mr. Oh. Wingstop. Ricky Rose. To, to name a Shout few. out Pears. Right? <laughs> okay. Fucking Rick Ross does not believe, or he does not want to drive a, a Tesla. Tesla or any smart car because the government, he thinks that the government can hack these vehicles. All right. Straight up, right there and then, he's, he's already telling me he's fucking hiding something. You think so? Yeah, dude. So you I think mean, in that case, why the hell are you going to have any cell phone? Right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, the cell phone's tracking you already. Yeah. But, I mean, like, to hack your car, that would be crazy, right? If they hacked your I mean, shit, if you think about it, they could. you're driving? They could. Like, you could be driving. Let's say you're wanted or something. They're looking for you, and they know your car. It's a Tesla or some shit. They just lock your cars. Yeah. yeah. Turn it off. Lock your fucking doors right. and shit. You can't do anything. But they can do that with, like... Oh, they'll drive you like, straight to the fucking police station. They can do that, like, with regular cars. Like, with that OnStar shit. Yeah. Yeah, but not all cars. Yeah, but can that car drive you to a fucking? Yeah. I mean, we no. remember we talked to J C El Santo, and he said that like a fucking if he didn't pay his fucking payment, like the car will probably drive itself back and shit. Yeah, drive itself back to the dealership. <laughs> yeah, to shit. the dealership. Yeah, that's crazy. So you guys agree with them? Yeah. Nobody's buying. And I know. A Tesla. I know he's not a. They're Tesla, not, not only are they buying it, but it's, I mean, they're overhyped, and there's a waiting list of like two years, dude, to even get one. But so, what's the next smart car? Apple. They're coming nah. out with the smart car, aren't what? they? Nah. I the thought they are. The combustion I'm like, engine. Well, no, I'm I pretty think sure. I kind of nomi- dominates the electric car. Oh, There's dude. other companies there, but they're not as big as an, as reliable can, can as Can you Tesla. Google if Apple's going to make a car? Because I'm like almost a thousand percent yeah, sure. I He's like motors sold separately. Like, the fuck uh, kind of yeah, dude. <laughs> no, tires, but tires, tires you have to buy a subscription. You have yeah. to buy a subscription. No, but too. also like you have like BMW doing like um electrical cars. Yeah, Chevy, Ford, so they're all doing it. All of them are doing it Okay, so... Yeah, Apple Car release date. You see, I knew I wasn't fucking talking out of my ass. Dude, a you know fucking I mean? car? The Apple Car. Look at that shit. That is crazy. <laughs> Imagine driving with an Apple suit. That in is front of so you. crazy. The wait list for that. Oh, yeah. That shit is going to be wild. It but starts yeah. at 100,000. Go up, go up, go up. The Apple Car, bro. That Could is... cost less than 100,000. Car launch expected in 2026 or later. That's crazy. Self driving. Like no you're not even gonna be able to drive it. That's AI specific crazy, features with Siri. Take me to the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which <laughs> one? <laughs> They're gonna be like, Tudis has two for one tonight. It right. has all the specials and shit. Nah, you know what's gonna suck is the battery is gonna run out quick. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Now, dude, it's like software. Like for example, if you buy software a, update, if you <laughs> buy a Tesla, uh, uh, not fr- like not from Tesla, from like somebody else, a third party, um, and. They get the report that it's been sold. You have to repay like 10, 15 grand to get that, to be able to unlock the software for you. True. That makes sense. So it's like pay by, uh, <laughs> pay for subscription. All right, well, Chris. Yeah, I'm going to pay. I mean, most, most of our, our shit runs on fucking Apple, right? Yes. I mean, Literally, just, every, everybody's phone is here is Apple. Yeah. My iWatch. I mean, our podcast computer. runs on fucking Apple. Yep. Um, would you ever buy an Apple vehicle if you had the money, you think? Yeah, sure. Why not? Just to flex. Just to fucking what about, check what, it out. Yeah. Yeah. What about the government, dude? Following you? I don't care. They're fucking. They can. They are already <laughs> following. What, me, if, what if it started? I to, what what if, I'm not. Project. I'm not doing anything bad. What, if, what if it detected like weed smoke? Well, no. I'm sure they're <laughs> not gonna care about weed smoke, Joe. Yeah, it's the Joe. fucking government. Yeah. They're concerned about bigger things. I hope. Yeah. Okay. I hope. <laughs> right. Right. This is they, CVD. I don't you know, heard. Man. All right. <laughs> Next fucking topic here. Do y'all remember Soldier Boy? Soldier Boy up oh, in them hoes. Me, or now, bro. better known as Sober Boy. What? He, yeah, he's gone sober. Did you sober. stay up all night thinking about that one? No, no, I literally... Dude, it's an easy one. Soldier Boy, Sober Boy. Why does like, it say Sada, baby? So, um... That is new name? That's not Soldier Boy. That is Soldier Boy, dude. Oh, that is not Soldier Boy. Mind. Sada, oh, baby. <laughs> You're an idiot. What? I read this wrong. Oh, my God. I read this man. wrong. Boy, what a dumbass. Anyway, 
this this guy spent fifteen to twenty k on lean. Wait, month. hold on, hold on. This whole time, right? I thought it this was whole Soldier time boy. it was Soldier, Soldier boy. boy. So this whole time in his notes and everything that he's thinking about <laughs> talking Soldier was about Soldier, Soldier boy, boy, right? Yeah. So now I want to know what the hell you have to say, Chris. Go ahead. <laughs> Don't spend fifteen to twenty k a week on a, a week on lean. That's a lot, dude. That's a lot, bro. Prometh, that some, shit will kill some you. Some codeine, yeah. That's a lot, dude. A week? I think that's over exaggerating, right? Well, you have to no, be. Dude, I mean, they build a tolerance to a million where, bucks a year. That is crazy. Hold on, but twenty thousand. How much lean do you need? How much lean does it? Well, cost? if you're look, buying it for Wiz, all your homies, so Wiz, yeah. Wiz, Wiz, said, Wiz says he spends close to fifty grand a month on weed, and I, I believe be- it. I believe it. Yeah. That's a lot of lean, bro. So like, lean, and especially because he's probably not getting legally. So lean the, the on market, me the mar- the market on uh, so on Walk Hard and all the all the other ones, the seals, dude. And they're small, they're small little bottles, dude. They're probably like this, yeah, big, dude, yeah, big. Yeah, dude, that shit's crazy. It's a lot of money. Who, I, who, how does he even have this money? Who know who is this guy? He's a rapper, Sado Baby. <laughs> I thought, dude, I literally thought it's a Soldier, Soldier Boy. I, I thought he changed his name or right. he sent me. I was like, that's article. not Soldier Boy. He's like, yo, it is. I'm like, no, the I fuck swear it ain't. To God, dude, I read Soldier Boy. Okay, take this down. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, Chris, no, no, All right, podcast ends here. Let's go. Right. It's over. Last fucking last two trending topics here before we get into this shit. Uh, shit. Uh, Justin Bieber sold his music catalog for two hundred million dollars. That's. I feel like he got. I feel like he didn't get enough. What? It's fucking Justin Bieber, bro. Yeah, but if you think about it, like, I mean, we don't know much about how all that shit works, but you would, you would think maybe like. Maybe like these guys were kind of like, uh, maybe that's the best deal he could have gotten. Maybe they didn't want him to do it or something. You know what I mean? I don't know, dude. Or maybe he just wanted to get rid of it because um, I feel like I, I feel know. like it's a quick check. Um, yeah, future, it's a, future it's a did fat ass. Check future too. did the same thing recently. Yeah, but what did he do after that? He created his own shit, right? Well, I'm sure he's, he's going to do that's gonna do something exactly. Very he's similar. gonna do the same thing to where like he's he's gonna be making more. Than Imagine that. the next day you're just two hundred million dollars richer. You're just like okay, nothing changes. You know, a lot of people have done <laughs> like, that. You know, Phil <laughs> Collins, Sting, Neil Diamond, <laughs> Jay-Z, Joey Ramone, Jay Z, Future. Because it's the biggest deal yet for any yeah. artist. No, that's what I'm saying. It's Jay Biebs. You know what I mean? The Bieber. Everyone fucking loves I the mean, guy. It's the biggest. So biggest that means that that it's like pretty much an it. advance on your future like royalties and earnings, pretty much. Because now they control what they do with the music. If it yeah. can come out on movies, they don't deal with him. They deal with whoever the right, company right. is that yeah. bought it. But you think um, he, in the long run he could have made more than two hundred million? Yes. Yeah, but he wouldn't be alive to make the two hundred million. Yeah, it's Justin Bieber, bro. It's like an advance. I don't know. That shit's crazy. Do you That's see how he, money, how he how he uh, like? But Had people are thinking paralyzed. he's not he's not gonna be making music like because he came out with that whole thing about like the, the, like anxiety and shit and stuff and like his face or whatever. So whole. did he like think maybe he's already no, like dude. past his prime? No. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he yeah, definitely yeah. is. No, dude. Nah, if you're still no. a Justin Bieber so. fan, dude, there's Fuck so no. many Bieber fans. Look, Ooh, I'm thinking you? I'm thinking he's yeah, doing all this and then he's gonna create his own shit and then you're still gonna look soon enough. You're gonna see a new Bro, album Justin out. Justin Bieber can well, go sell out a world. He had said he's like, I'm not making any more music. I don't know because the guy that pretty much discovered him, Scooter or Braun or Sco- yeah. something like that, he just signed this big deal with some new company that's worth like trillion See, dollars, and he's like his mentor. Right. So something's going on, and he's gonna have something bigger. Yeah, dude, it's Justin Bieber. This guy's not done me- making but, music. So bro. did he sold his existing catalog, not his future stuff, right? Right. I'm his sure this is catalog. his existing. This is catalog. yeah. This is everything that's already. Everything out. That's so already anything made. made after this, will, will he guilty? That's what I mean. Keep. Like yeah. now he's he, now he's done with his old shit. Now it's time for him to start his right. new one. But then he'll be like all all in. It'll be this like, guy. There you go. Sole CEO of Hybe America. So, yeah, these guys are making money moves for sure. These guys don't fucking play around. So, all right. Anyways, last one. Last topic we have. This one hits close to home. Um, El Paso. Well, this guy, he grew up in Juarez, but spent time in El Paso and then moved to FC Dallas. Uh, Mr. Alejandro Zendejas. Um, This guy is playing for Copa America, which is like the biggest club in Mexico. And he has roots to El Paso, and tonight he's making his debut for the United States men's national team in soccer. So that puts two El Pasoans in the United States wow, men's dude. national Fucking team. Shit.
Ricardo Pepe and on now HBO Max. Max. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. I don't know why they're showing soccer on HBO Max, but that shit's whack. Are you serious? I'm gonna I'm gonna see right yeah. now. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna watch this as soon as we done. Go Serbia. Uh, what time's it start? It's, it's right now. Right now at eight. So look, it is right there. Yeah, dude, live that's crazy. right now. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to this guy. This is just putting El Paso on the map for soccer, dude. FC Dallas as well as a club that uh, has taken kids from El Paso. I'm very them ignorant, but is this guy a, a starter? Is this guy like a big yeah, deal? Like yeah, he's starting. At his yeah, team dude, he stuff? was playing for Mexico's national team. After tug of war for services yeah. in Mexico, it's he's when you're for young, America. When you're young, before you actually play in a senior match, you can play with different countries. Right, right, right. But once you commit to a senior team, then you're USA's losing two zero. You know what I mean? No, they're not. Yes, I'm watching right here. I, really? No. <laughs> you fucking. It just started, here, dude. Turn that shit off. In. I don't want to fuck because you're gonna fuck around. You're not gonna be cool about it. He's can't not gonna trust, be paying attention. Can't trust Joe to be cool about it. Yeah. Has to two zero me right away. I was yeah. gonna fucking shit my pants. <laughs> anyways. Shout out to Mr. Alejandro Zendejas. Yeah, man. Give him a round of applause. Yeah, for sure. He'll be in our pod. This, this guy is one of the dudes. I remember the psycho coach, soccer coach, Mike Lopez. Yeah, that yeah, 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 this yeah, is yeah. one of the guys that he trained and helped wow. get discovered. Oh, nice. So that's two of them. He's got him and Pepe now. That shit's crazy, bro. Shout out. And yeah, USA Soccer, let's go all day, baby. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the, whatever. Let's transi- transition to the back half. Hey, they're choosing the USA over Mexico. So that says something. <laughs> well, you really, still trash. <laughs> you're never gonna convince this guy. So yeah, don't even, don't even yeah. try. All right, now let's get into Joe's movies here. Uh, Joe, how do you want to introduce? So this segment? this segment, like we did last time, was food. This one's been movies. All uh, they all have in common one one big major actor. This is Rate Their Fate. Actor of the movie is Will Ferrell. Oh, no. there you go. I was okay, say we should have I've guessed. Probably, I've probably seen all these movies then, at least. So. Let's rate you guys. Rate for me, Step Brothers. Oh. On a one to ten. Step. Oh, for me, dude, it's gonna be like eight and a half to nine. I give it a sure. nine. Going to seven. Yeah, six. It's funny, seven. but I don't think it's as funny as people. Nah, think. honestly, I gotta see that movie. Like, I'll watch that movie like once every like two three months. Yeah. Like, like, it, like I'll be like on Netflix like trying to see, and if I can't find something else to watch, Step I'll just fucking Step Brothers and. Number two hilarious. is Anchorman. Uh, oh shit! I, I don't like that one. Matt. I don't like that one. I like the first one. That's it. The first one was the best one. I don't even think I've seen sure. the whole one, so I'm gonna go. I'm going two. with the five. I'm going with the seven. I'm gonna go seven and a half. You see, here's the deal with those movies: is that people fucking overhype the fuck out of them. You know what I mean? Like people start like no, I think like, they're me- like uh, quoting lines and shit, and like just like I don't know. That's just me. Well, I yeah, they oversold that is. Them. Well, I mean, that's 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 what these movies are kind of made They're for, cult right? classics. They're cult classics, right? So, like, they make scenes that are fucking going to be memorable, yeah. that are going to be fucking yeah. quoted the whole uh, time. This you one's know? probably one of my favorite ones from his catalog. is Talladega Nights. Okay, oh, that, one, yeah. that one's Jesus. funny. Nine. That's a, that, I give it a nine and a half. Other than eight on that one. I'm going to go I'm gonna go. That gonna go shit is hilarious. Maybe first to last, Ricky yeah, Bobby. That, yeah, that one's Ricky really Boobie. good. I really like that one better, honestly. Next one's the uh, all-time favorite during the holidays, Elf. Okay, oh, Elf nine. is good, too. I'll I give, give it that one an eight. Elf was good. I feel, I feel like, like that, that one's overhyped. No, I think I'm going to give an Elf like probably a ten. I like the storyline too, just yeah. like the storyline, and then the way he plays it off. Like, yeah, he he's literally really an elf, elf. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's and the thing movies. is, it's like both. Like, it, it it could be like you can't ever think of like uh, Will Ferrell in a, like a movie that's like could be like a sentimental moment or something like that. But you can in this, and he's still playing himself, yeah. that funny himself. So I think that was a perfect. That could next one is um, I don't know if you guys seen it, uh, Blades of Glory. Never seen it. Yeah, I've, no. I've seen it. I think that was like maybe a six. It also has several like fucking. Uh, a quote that, that one seems too like too much for me, too out there. Not, not closer in line with Anchorman yeah. for me. So I'm gonna yeah. go like honorable mention, and this is OG at least for me. Night at the Roxbury. I've never even seen that what? one. Either. Yeah, I've never with seen Chris that Katana, one. dude. Is that, that, was funny, is that where he goes streaking? They're dancing. Yeah, they're dancing. No, that's old oh, school. That's, that's old school. school. You old see, school. he left that old school. Old school. Yeah, old school's school. mid because I feel like he's what? not. A, he's not the main actor in it. Yeah. He's just a supporting actor. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's still funny as fuck. Old school. You might boy blue. Hilarious. Way better than Blades of Glory or whatever the fuck that shit was. I think Blades of Glory is funny as fuck, dude. He also has a good funny movie. Semi Pro. Um, what's his name? Uh, Kevin Hart. Oh yeah, I'd get hard. Get hard. I thought I've that was that, that one's word. funny too. That's if you like police it? officers, no, I've never seen that one. No, where uh, oh, he's going to jail. Block. 
Oh yeah, they go to jail together. Yeah. No, okay. he goes to jail because he got a uh, his brother or his father in law kind of like pulled a rug under from him and kind of blamed him for yeah. like. Yeah. So true. Will Ferrell goes to jail, so Kevin Rock is trying to get okay. prepared. get him prepared so to I, go I to jail. Kevin Rock, the, Kevin Rock, Kevin Rock, Rock. Kevin Kevin Rock. Rock. Kevin Rock. The, Mark Wahlberg, right? That oh, was the, the other the, guys. The other guys. That, that was funny. That one's funny. Too. He's like, that that's funny. your wife? He's like, yeah. And it's just, uh, who is it? Uh, get it, don't take no shit. Yeah, get it, don't take no shit. Kevin uh, Rock sounds like a baseball player that gets busted for steroids. Yeah. That's what he sounds <laughs> like. He looks like one, too. Kevin <laughs> yeah, Rock. dude. Kevin Rock. God bless. All right, good shit, Joe. I like, this, mm-hmm. I like the movies. Next time. Um, well, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm okay, hold on, the hold movies. on. What do you rate Will Ferrell one to ten? Eight. Eight. I'll, yeah. give him, I'll give him an eight, nine. Okay. Uh, nine. I'm going to give him a nine. I would uh, love to interview I would say, you know what, Joe? Next time you do the movies things, keep the same actor again. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah, like have because the, the can, same actor. You can go like from different roles they play. And, yeah. Like Will Ferrell's like not, his, usually he's like kind of almost the same character. Dude, if way. you think of like the Will Ferrell, the first movie that I could remember, Will Ferrell is that Superstar. Shit. I oh, yeah. Really remember Bucky, Superstar? Bucky, yeah. But, but like it's cool, right? If you did yeah. like, if you did like Tom Hanks or someone like that, you could get like a lot of cool movies. Yeah, that's why I was thinking he was going to do. Or Denzel, Denzel. Oh, uh, did you know those are those are. Uh, those are. There's coming. a lot of good Leonardo actors out there. DiCaprio. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. DiCaprio. yeah, that's another one too. They yeah. all have good catalogs. Yep. But no. Will, Will Ferrell from Saturday Night Live. That one's OG. When he was like do the cheerleading thing with Molly yeah. Shannon, that <laughs> oh, was yeah. hilarious. That's crazy how he got his stuff. Dude, you know what's so crazy? Many of them did. He looks like Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, he, he does. does. Like so twins on my go. That is wild. <laughs> okay. Dope language. <laughs> okay, guys. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna do one last thing before we wrap up the podcast here. We haven't done this in a while. Uh, usually we do five random questions when we wrap it up, uh, but we used to do some fucking uh, r- random. Uh, this or that This or that Rapid fire Like Fucking You know Fucking Machine gun status Yeah So we're gonna do that With Misa here And uh Are you ready to go Misa Are you yeah. ready for this Yeah let's do right. it Let's do it guys Okay rapid fire questions Conversing it's with Chris rapid and Misa. fire or is it this or that Rapid this fire or this or that Alright cool Alright Are you guys ready for this yeah. Alright Let's go Alright Misa Popcorn or popsicles Popsicles Grocery cart or no grocery cart Grocery cart Breakfast or dinner Breakfast The Doors or the Beatles The Doors Chili's or Applebee's Applebee's as, as a kid Legos or puzzles Ooh Legos Sprite or Sierra Mist Uh Sierra Mist Turkey or ham Ham Peanut butter and Nutella uh, peanut butter Shrimp or fish tacos uh, Shrimp Jeez There you go That yeah. was good cool. Sierra Mist You know Sierra if this continues right? Yeah I know wow. They just discontinued Did they really Yeah, yeah they Damn. just discontinued End of an era Like last week That shit was asshole What It was like a knockoff Look it's it bright 7-Up right. And then Sierra Mist for yeah, me Sierra. I thought I liked it I liked it better than 7-Up Dude sure. Sierra yeah. Mist is It wasn't as crispy movie. you know no, yeah. seven up was too crispy. So bro. what's Pepsi like, gonna replace it with? Nothing. Sierra fucking they're gonna have to something. Buy Sprite. Yeah, they're gonna have to. <laughs> well, they have to have a Sprite competitor now. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like Sprite and Coke. It was Pepsi, huh? Sprite, yeah. Coke, Pepsi and Coke. Because that's why they they sell it. Uh, like the only place I've seen it Taco was at Bell. Pizza Hut. Yeah, and Taco yeah. Bell. Taco Bell. Yep. Fucking R.I.P. Sierra Miss. Yeah. You were a real one. Moment but wait, he said something else. Moment of silence, like, Joe. We have gathered here today <laughs> to say goodbye to Sierra Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sierra Miss, bro. I honestly had no idea it died. I did. I actually saw I think I, I forwarded it to you yeah. guys. I saw it. Yeah. You said like, something else that was questionable, and I was like, wait, what? Hey, what was error. the first one? So the first one was popcorn. Oh, he said Applebee's or over Applebee's. Chili's. It's no way, I can't, dude! It's because I've done Chili's, man, and and it, they've always disappointed me. Every Yo, we went time to Chili's last weekend, and that shit was why fun. because yeah, dude. Applebee's uh, was fucked up. Yeah. Applebee's is ass. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with both, but I I, I will no, much rather. Good. I like Chili's better. I rather have a sexual escapade with Chili's than with Applebee's. But oh. popsicles <laughs> over popcorn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, popsicles. the pans on the on the weather too. I'm not gonna go home and be like, I want a popsicle. But and if it was summertime, hey. There's a variety of popsicles too. Yeah. Popcorn. It's like they are variety, but it's kind of the same shit. I feel yeah. like there's gotta be another way to eat popcorn, other than people like add ketchup to it. Like, okay, like. 
Ugh. You could put jalapenos, right? Hot sauce. Mm-hmm. And butter. Then I just feel I do like it's sauce. so hard because like I'll grab a thing and then like I kind of want a little bit more jalapeno, a little bit more popcorn or something. So I'm like there playing around right. and shit until I get the pepper one and I put it in my mouth. And next thing you know, I look like a fucking savage. And then here's my popcorn. thing too: if you have popcorn in the popcorn box, like the from the movies, there's no way you can get all the toppings down to the bottom. So after a while, you run out through, of toppings. Yeah, it's just fucking shitty popcorn. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, like if, you, if we could get the taste of popcorn in, in an easier way, like in a spoon or a fork or something. Yeah. Like, if we could do that, like, dude, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Sign me up. All I'm all time. about hey, it. Hey, who do you think created popcorn? popcorn? Some fucking guy Orville named Redenbacher. Bob. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Actually, it was him. Orville yeah, Redenbacher. That's probably like, what happens if I put a corn in heat? <laughs> what if this shit just starts popping? I what think if I put accident. it over some oil and then I heat it up? I, f- I think for sure it was an accident. I think they I, I, I think, think they most of it got hot in the cornfield and then boop. Charles Creeder. Mobile popcorn cart. Of Chicago. Of course, in Chicago, there's losers, the fucking losers in Chicago. Have Archaeologists have found popcorn fossils. What the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. You think, yeah, dude. For real. 1880s. Wow. Who would have known? Or, you know, with cows, who would like, who, who discovered milk? Like, what I if I milk those titties? Uh, what if I just suck what on those? Suck on those. Yeah, yeah, what were they doing? Yeah, what were they doing? Fucking nasty. <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> All right, you nasty guys. fucks. We're coming up on 40 minutes here on the second half. We're going to start to wrap this motherfucker up. So before we do that, let's go around the studio here. Let's give our final thoughts. Let's start with you, Amanda. You no, know, just another good episode. Always <laughs> fun with the pod squad. Yeah, I love these squads. Sucking Pots. titties and here. shit. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <I guess. laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, final <laughs> thoughts today. Uh, it was good. I missed you guys. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I was looking forward for that episode on Saturday. And then I saw what you guys were doing that night. So I was like, oh, that's even better. Um. Hopefully it opens up some more uh, more opportunities for us and we get more guests this year, man. 2023, starting off at the bang. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Misa, final thoughts today, yeah, brother. Yeah, dude. Uh, awesome pod, like always. Uh, 2023, man. Uh, me and Chris talked about it. It's going to be a fucking big year. And and, and it's meant to be, like like uh, like Amanda was saying earlier, um, that, that whole thing. Uh, so just so stay tuned. If you're listening, you're watching, and you have been for a while, thank you so much. Um, fucking Circle K, man. We've been talking about Circle K all fucking love day you guys. today. Uh, shout out Circle K for the free coffee and everything else. Um, shout out to Chris. Shout out to Joe. Amanda, thank you guys. Shout out to Chewy. He shut up and then he left. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man. If you guys are listening and watching, thank you so much. You guys make sure to stay safe and stay fresh. All right, guys. Final thoughts today, Amanda. Thank you for being here in the producer chair. Joe, thank you for hanging out with us for another squad pod. We really do appreciate it. Misa, thanks again. Uh, had a good time going to the fucking red carpet thing. That was cool. Never forget it, bro. Never done sure. uh, d- done anything like that before. It won't be the last. Um, but yeah, that shit was really fun. Uh, to all the people that have been listening to us, like Misa said for a while, thank you all for supporting us, showing us love. Uh, you guys make this shit possible. Uh, but yeah, guys, with all that said, another good Squad Pod episode in the books. Episode 167, Conversing with Chris and Misa. The motherfucking podcast. <laughs> We are <laughs> Shut Peace. Ow! Hey, Sir Kokesha, that's some free uh, Bud Light and Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> Do the dash, hope I don't crash, baby Yeah, I make the money, but the money don't make me